busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. You know, Tony, you and I have uh, had the opportunity to be around the Callaway program for a long time. I was working at Callaway Middle School the year the school opened. Uh, you, you, your boys, of course, went, went there. Uh, and I, I just I get more and more impressed as I see the sense of community that Callaway seems to be growing in. Uh, the stands are looking good. Got lots of folks coming in here. Uh, still lots of people outside making their way in here. Uh, it, it, it feels like a, a great environment tonight. And you're right, a good crowd. A good crowd for Friday night. Uh, still more people filing in. But hard to believe. 17 years. Callaway was established, I believe, in 96. Mm-hmm. So this is their 17th year. And Hunter Milliman is going to get us started tonight, Jack. There is. There's the kick. Nice high kick. And we take it down to about the uh, right there at the 2. Brings it out to the 5, to the 10. And, boy, we're going to be all over him. Great boy. job at the 12 uh, by the Callaway Cavaliers. Keyshawn Freeman just blew that play up. He ran right between two blockers at about the 25-yard line uh, and made the tackle back there for the Cavaliers. So uh, Harris County is going to set up shop uh, with their first offensive possession for the night on about the uh, 13-yard line, Jack. 13, 14-yard line. Uh, that 20 is kind of always in my mind. I don't want, I want to keep them inside the 20 on, a, on my kickoff team. That's what I want my special teams to do. They're going to start off with trip to this near side. They're going to go right to their passing game, looks like. Single back set with the quarterback. That's Marshall back there. They do a little talking. They're going to make some audibles there at the line of scrimmage. There's the snap. He's going to just run to his left side. Got a little bit of running room. Gets to the 15 to the 20. Going to go down to about the 22-yard line. Good play that time by there. We still don't have their roster, but that's a good play by their quarterback as he took the snap, went to his left, and the uh, uh, Harris County offensive line sealed the Callaway left side inside, and uh, he was able to pick up a uh, real close to the first down, Jack, and they're back to the line of scrimmage again. Taquan Marshall is that quarterback. Uh, he's got trips again back to the far side. Uh, the Cowboys kind of lining up and, and uh, backing off a little bit, a little bit of a zone. He's just going to run back to the right side again. He's going to be the primary runner, it looks like tonight, because the third, he's going to get the first down, uh, down to about the 31. Good tackle out there that time by number 11 for the Cavaliers, Dre Martin, from his uh, defensive end position. And so far, the uh, the Tigers have uh, have gained about 15 yards on their first two plays with nothing more than a quarterback sweep right and left. Jack, you know, looking at the uh, the offensive line, just a little zone blocking. They're really not firing off. They're just standing up and getting in between you and the runner. They stand up and check their leg. They go twins to this side. One man slip wide to the far side. A little bit longer snap count. This time he's going to hand the ball off to his tailback. A little bit of a draw. He's going to cut up inside to the 35 and be brought down there by a host of Callaway Cavaliers. Good job that time by the uh, linebackers for the Cavaliers. Keyshawn Freeman, number 10. Bronze Lazea, number, uh, LeBron Zalea, number 8 from his linebacker position. Also number 6, Eddie Culpepper in on that tackle. Right quick, back to the line. They're going to hand off the ball, going back to the right side this time. Cuts back. Gets uh, back to the line of scrimmage. Not a whole lot there. It's going to bring up third down. Good tackle that time by number nine, Jalen Allen from his defensive end, and number 14, Deion Smith, as they combined to hold Chapman to a short gain and going to bring up about a third and three, Jack. Tell you what, Greg, they're really quick back to the line. Well, you know, for a bunch of big guys on this offensive line, you, you know they got to be in pretty good shape because these guys are heavy on the offensive line. Back to the handed off again to the right side. Big yardage this time as we're hitting him, but we're not ramping up as he gets across the 45 down to the 47-yard line. Looks like, uh, sorry to run over you there, uh, Tony, but Terry Godwin's coming out of the game. Looked like he had a little shoulder sting when he went to make that tackle. Hit the guy with his shoulder and just bounced off of him. So yeah, that's uh, a, that's a big that's a big, and so is number five, the running back. He's headed off the side uh, to the side over there too with a little looks like mm. a little stinger maybe. So big collision that time on the field. But a, a first down is Harris County's offensive line on the first three to four plays has, has established the line of scrimmage. Something that the Kellers are doing too. They they scouted this and they see that that little draw handoff the quarterback is giving. They're popping the quarterback each time right as he hands the ball off because very easily he can take that thing off and take off the other side. Got a little player, uh, number nine, Jalen Allen, have a little problem with his helmet, so he's going to replace, be replaced on the field by number 50, Stephen Curtis. Also number 14 uh, for the Cavaliers, uh, that's Deion Smith, another equipment problem. So number 52, Justice Perkin, is going to take his place. So uh, Trey Tucker down there going to take care of that. There's, no, there's not a better trainer in the world than Trey Tucker, equipment man. 
As uh, Hayes County quickly, as soon as the ball's whistled in, they go right back to it. They get across the 50. They're down to the 45-yard line. Second down from there. Shotgun snap. Hand the ball to that tailback going across the 40, down down about the 36-yard line. Guys, they're picking up five and six every time. Right. A good tackle there, unfortunately, by uh, the Cavaliers, number five, P.D. Leverett. But, unfortunately, it was seven, eight yards down the field. So, uh, as number nine, uh, Jalen Allen comes back into the game to give Justice Perkins a break. But but you're right, Jack. The, uh, the Tigers doing an outstanding job of moving the football. For the shotgun snap, they're giving just enough time in the backfield. This time the quarterback's going to hand it off again into the line. Now he's going to be stumped a little bit after about three and a half yards, maybe four. Brings up second down. That looks like that that uh, zone read uh, that you see so much on, on TV now with colleges and pros. And uh, as the Cavaliers try to get uh, get some fresh bodies onto the field, the Tigers have slowed it down just a, just a hair, but they're right back at the line of scrimmage with second down and about eight uh, on the Cavalier 35-yard line. Yeah, they're not dragging. They're, they're you know making their way. The line will get back to the line of scrimmage pretty fast. Well, obviously they're in good shape. You can't run this offense without being without uh, great conditioning. So, uh, a tribute to their coaches and players. They're gonna pass the ball, swing it out to the left side, and go get down to about the 29-yard line. That's close to a first down. Nice little play there off of that zone read as they faked it up the center and uh, threw a little quick pass out here to their left to give the cow and picked up another first down. Uh, good job by the Cavalier defense, but uh, but again a lot of uh, a lot of options uh, that this Harris County offense is throwing at the Cavalier defense. Well, I really haven't seen the Cavaliers in the backfield yet. Uh, everything's happening so fast. We're not really getting a rush up inside. There's a snap. Quarterback's going to run to his right, just flat down the line. Now he's going to cut up, gets across the 20, down to the 15, and finally going to be wrestled out of bounds down around the 13-yard line. Good blocking again. All you can say there is for the Harris County offensive line is the quarterback took the ball and simply went to his right. Uh, got the ball down near the 10-yard line, maybe the, about, about the 13 uh, for another first down as, the, uh, as Harris County has uh, driven the length of the field. This drive began on about their own 13-yard line. Now they're on the, uh, inside the Callaway 15. You know, Greg, you and I have watched a lot of football, and mistakes tend to happen down inside the red zone. Inside the red zone. The handoff is going to be cut back to the inside. They began going to the outside left. They cut back inside, get down to the 10, brings up second down. Tackle that time by number 19, Quantavius Anderson, from his defensive end position. But, again, they pick up three or four yards on first down. Again, quickly they snap the ball. Hand the ball off again to that tailback. And he's actually going to be stopped for a loss. Good job as we finally read one well and get across that line of scrimmage. Well, you, oh, I'm sorry, Greg. Go ahead. No, I'm just just, just seeing how fast-paced this offense is. And, and, really, I don't know, and they're going to call a timeout real quick, like, but yeah, I don't know that Callaway um, – uh, as you can practice against such a fast. When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property or acreage, you need to call Rob Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Upchurch on the web at robupchurchsales.com. Or when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property or acreage, you need to call Joel Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Upchurch, on the web at joelupchurch.com. 6523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call. Remax Result Agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. Jack Moore Tony Walls, Greg Hicks on the field, and here comes Harris County again. They're looking at second down. Got about five to go for a first down. Ball resting on the nine-yard line. The quarterback, Marshall. Takes the snap. He's going to roll to his right. Cuts back inside. Gets across the line of scrimmage. He's going to go in for a score. And right there, uh, with eight minutes left to go in this first quarter play, Harris County strikes first. That was an impressive 93-yard drive or 83-yard drive by the Harris County Tigers as they threw one pass and maybe had maybe nine or ten runs, but uh, maybe only one play for a loss. But uh, they took that football and went right down the field against the Cavalier defense to uh, go up by a score of six to nothing with the extra point to follow. Check on their PAT abilities. Snap, hold, kick is up. And that kick is good. So, with 8.03 left to go in the first quarter of play, Harris strikes first. It's 7-0 right here from Callaway Stadium. Let's take a quick break. You're listening to... 
Brandon Brooks is your first step to achieving your dream of home ownership. Looking to take advantage of great mortgage rates? Contact Brandon Brooks at Statewide Mortgage by calling 706-302-7638 or visit him online at statewidemortgageGA.com. That's Statewide Mortgage and talk to Brandon Brooks at 706-302-7638 or on the web at www.statewidemortgageGA.com. NMLS 1002584. FM, 1240 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football live here from Callaway Stadium. And, Greg, uh, that was a quick eight, uh, few minutes there to, to get to eight minutes in the ball game. Actually, uh, Kevin Eckleberry ran down before me, and I, it's hard I can do to keep up with him. Harris County's got us both running up down the field. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's tough. <laughs> they kicked the ball off. Angling towards the far sideline, taken at the 15. Actually, going to go out of bounds there. That's where we're going to have it at the 12 since we touched it first. Number 15 there for the Cavaliers. Cedric Maynard uh, had that ball go off his hands, and so the Cavaliers now are deep in their own territory as they start their first drive just outside their own 10 yard line. Looks like the official is going to mark it near the 11. Well, as you guys were talking at break, um, here's the answer. You know, uh, Harris County started on their own 13. And now the Callaway got their ball. They're starting on the only on their own 11 yard line. So they got they got to one up them by going a little bit farther down to uh, pick up the score. Callaway breaks the huddle. They've got the black jerseys with the red pants this evening. Parks will start off under center. I formation behind him. He'll roll his wing back over to the other side. Takes a snap. Go back out. Hand the ball to his tailback, who's going to just kind of scramble around to the right side. It's going to be brought down maybe a yard. Greg, is that about a yard? He, he may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. He may have lost six inches, guys. That was number six there, Eddie Culpepper, from his tailback position, I believe. Or is that number five, P.D. Leverett? He's got his jersey wrinkled. I can't hardly tell. But uh, played a little slow to develop, and, and the Tigers did a good job of penetration. And uh, they actually lost a yard on that, I believe. It, they've got it marked uh, a lot closer to the 10. It's going to bring yeah. him second down to 11. That was Culpepper on the run. He's okay. actually taking a break now. Okay. Yeah, they did mark him right at the 10-yard line. They're going to put Rosser back in the tailback position. Start off in the under center. Now they're going to break out. Parts going to go to the shotgun. Takes it. Takes the handoff. Going to throw it out quickly to his uh, wing back on the far side. He's going to get across the tw- down to the 20 yard line. A nice little seven yard gain. That's number 22, Michael Moss. And that was a touchdown saving tackle by their DB right there because there was nobody between him and the goal line. So uh, Cavaliers pick up good yardage on the second down and, and now have about a third down and one. Uh, just outside the, uh, right near the 20 yard line. Looks like the ball's marked on the 20. Good sharp play, too. Just a you know, nice little fake. Uh, stands up and hits him right there up there in the flats. I like that. Parks will go back under center. Eye formation behind him. This little man wide left and right. Run the option. He's going to keep it. Oh, there's a great hole across the 30. He's still going to stick to the 40. He's still going to stick to the 50. Crosses the 50, goes out of bounds at the 42 yard line. Looking back down the field, I don't see any flags, but again, uh, that's Tess Parks at his best as he ran the option to the right side. Faked the ball to the fullback and kept it, and uh, uh, Harris County had no answer for that speed as he takes the ball all the way down inside Harris County territory to the uh, Harris County 41-yard line. Tell you what, something about that right side of the line, Brandon Sutton, uh, tell you what, Jalen Allen, great blocks as he's able to cut across that uh, tackle gap and pick up big yards for the Cavaliers. Also 10th grader Courtney Lay there. Yep. Parks going to hand the ball off. They're going to try to go back to the left side, a little, little counter inside, and Harris reads it well. They're going to stop him maybe for a uh, – well, maybe they're going to give him a yard on that, second and nine. You know, Jack, that's that little trap play that the, uh, that the Cavaliers like so much, and that's one of the few times that uh, I've seen the team be able to stop that play. But, uh, again, the Cavaliers will continue to run it, and I'm sure before the night's over they'll break that play, as Rother has done so many times in his career. They break the huddle, head back to the line of scrimmage. Culpepper goes back to the tailback position. I formation behind Parks. Takes a snap, backs up, hands it off to Culpepper. Finds the seam around the right side. Cuts back. Nice spin move down to the 30. Gets to the, on the ground, Jack. And oh, did, they, did they get it? Can't tell. No, no, no word from the official yet. Cavalier ball. Woo. Boy, that was dangerous. That ball was on the ground a long time. That was dangerous. Looks like Culpepper was able to get back on his own fumble there. Actually picked up a first down. Good run there by Cole Pepper. It was a suck at effort. Got the ball across the 30, inside the 30. The official's going to mark it on the 28-yard line. A really good-looking run as he's able to make a nice little spin move towards the end of his run to pick up an extra two, three yards. So first down now. 
5.56 left to go in the first quarter. Played no score in this ball game against, well, excuse me, 7 nothing for Harris County. I just didn't want him to have a score. Park's going to keep it on the option. Cuts around, gets across the 20. Got a flag on the play. Get down to 15. That's probably going to come back with a holding call. Okay. Looks like that's going to be on number nine, tight end Jalen Allen. It came from the uh, came from the referee in the backfield. And a good run that time again by Tess Parks, but uh, unfortunately there for the Cavaliers, that whole holding penalty is going to bring that ball back. Yep, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> so still first down. They'll back up the Cavaliers quite a bit there. As you notice, guys, um, we've had a counter trap. No gain. Uh, we, I think the very first we had a little ISO for little gain, and I think the Cavaliers are exploiting the Tigers on the outside. If you'll notice a little shot pass on the outside, gate of about nine yards, and Tez has broken off tackle both times. Looks like Godwin's got single coverage out there to the left. Parks going to drop back. He's got Walsh to his right. Going to step back, find a seam inside, and gets down to about the 27-yard line. So across the original line of scrimmage, making up some of that yardage. Again, Parks took that snap, Jack, and just looked for a little hole up the middle and followed his center and got back past the original line of scrimmage to bring up about a second down and nine. The ball's on the uh, uh, Harris County 32-yard line. 5.02 left to go in the first quarter. Play 7 nothing is your score in favor of the Harris County Tigers. Parks checks his line. He'll go under center. Actually, he'll back up now to the shotgun. Make a nice little adjustment there. Rosser again is to his right. Takes the handoff to Rosser. Looks downfield. He's got a man in the corner. He reaches up. Oh, a great defensive play by the Harris County player to tip it just at the last moment as Terry Godwin almost brought that down. You're exactly right, Jack. That is a great individual play by that corner right there. The ball was perfectly thrown. Terry Godwin went up for it, and the uh, uh, defensive back for uh, Harris County, number 21, was able to tip it away at the last minute. And uh, that brings up about a third down and nine. Craig, you were right there on that. That was a nice play. Well, it was. And seeing Terry coming down the sideline, he he actually rested his hand on his shoulder pads. But no push out. He just kind of a, just to feel where he was, the, the, the corner was able to get the beat on him. Uh, the corner jumped a little late, was able to knock the ball out of his hand. So all around, just an excellent play, just came up on the wrong side. I like to say take that shot. As we go back to the shotgun, they're going to pass the ball across the middle wow. and in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. My goodness, what a great throw by Tess Parks. He put that ball right on P.D. Leverett, and Leverett was not able to come up with a catch. And uh, that ball's got to be caught by the Cavaliers right there. That was a great throw. You know, it's interesting you say that, Tony, because really it was put where it should have been. It was it was first down throw, threw it down about the thighs. So Leverett was going, it was falling down, but it hit him right in the hands. And, you know, you're not going to have yak, if you will, no yardage after catch. But he was going to simply have a first down. And you, dang it, you got to catch those. you got to make those catches. And he'll tell you, and Petey will probably be the first one to tell you he needs to make that catch. So it's a fourth down, a big fourth down, fourth and nine for the Cavaliers. Ball's resting on the 29-yard line. Cross will be to the left of the quarterback, Parks. Parks rolls to his left, looks back, looks back, takes a pass. Now he's going to continue trying to run. He's got one man on him, and he's going to bring him down at the 31-yard line, and that'll end this drive for the Cavaliers. That's good coverage in the secondary that time by uh, Harris County. Uh, Tez really had nowhere to go with the ball right there, and he tried to make something happen to his left. But, uh, but a good stand by the, uh, the uh, defense from Harris County. You know, you had you both uh, Leverett and Culpepper down deep, and, and, and even though they looked open the latter second or two of the play, by this time, Parks had to make his decision to break out of pocket and go. And, you know, so often the fans see things like he's open down, but you got one second to make that kind That's of decision. Right. That's right. And you have got a whole lot of guys in front of you trying to bring you down. Harris County is going to affect the handoff, and they're going to drive around the left side. And another big run for them. They pick up a first down on first down. You, you know, guys, it's, it's nothing more than just simply a total read. Snap it to the quarterback. He decides whether to hand it off or rock and roll with it. And when you got that kind of athlete, uh, just like Callaway and Parks, you know, it's working right now for Harris County, and, and that's the, the offense that they've chosen to run. And, and you know, it's exciting for the fans for sure. We're going to hand it off to the tailback. Good blocking ahead of him. He's going to pick up nine, almost ten yards, and the Cavaliers are really having a hard time bringing him down. That's a good run by the uh, tailback Chapman. He runs the ball hard. As, as uh, you didn't, he didn't gain two thousand yards last year by uh, by not being a hard runner. But I like the way he takes that football and goes north and south. Uh, he makes up his mind, puts his foot in the ground, and uh, he makes a cut. And he's he's upfield quick. You know, it's interesting that you say that, Tony, because I'm sitting here on the backside looking at him running, and and uh, you know the the tight end's got his. Kind of got a grip on his on his corner, or actually the wideout, 
and he's running up, and he he, he, he decides he immediately going inside outside. Well, so good eyes, good decision making. And Cooper uh, will go again to the left side, get across the 45, down to the 44 yard line. Good ta- good tackle that time by number 16 for the Cavaliers. I believe that's uh, Dr- uh, Dre Martin from his uh, defensive end position there. So. Um, you know, he's coming out of the game right now, but uh, uh, maybe a little stinger. But uh, Harris County so far is moving the ball also again on this drive. There's a shotgun snap. Quarterback's going to back up the pass. Rolls, rolls, looking downfield, looking downfield. Throws a bullet across the middle, complete, and he's going to pick up some extra yards after that. I that's think that that's going to be uh, – I'm trying to get, catch that young man's that's, name. That's number two, the big tight end. Now, he's a good-looking kid, too, Greg. You can see him from way down there. But, again, that, that's just a good play by the quarterback. Uh, no pressure. Uh, was able to move around in the pocket and find an open man and uh, threw a bullet to the tight end number two there. He did. You know, I'm amazed that he caught that with all that hair dangling, but uh, he did a good job. Again, they're going to hand the ball to the tailback, who almost gets brought down the backfield. Flags flies. That's going to come back. Uh, we're going to definitely have holding. You get him in the backfield like that, it's either an incidental face mask or a holding on the backside. I think we're going to have a hold because it's, it opened up on the far side after that. Looking down to the man with the white hat, see what he's got to say about that. Well, if you remember on Callaway's first drive, it was a holding penalty that, that uh, uh, stopped their drive deep in the uh, Harris County territory. And it looks like now we got uh, a hold. Well, we got offset. We got a face mask and a hold that time. It's a good call, Greg. Well, it, you know, when things happen so fast like that, and, and, and basically it was holding on the backside, face mask on the on the other side when it actually broke open, and they came so quick. And both of them actually happened in the backfield, so offset and penalties will repeat first down. But that's a break for Harris County is they're not uh, – they still have first down and 10. That's right. And they're inside the 25-yard line, ball resting right there on the 24. Quarterback, got some pressure. Got some pressure. Flag down grab again. Him and great down. Play that time, number 27 for the Cavaliers, Rashawn Loveless, with a flag down the back. Maybe that's the hole we're looking for. And, and tell me the rules on that since he lost more than – 10 yards, or at least right at 10. What what rules here? The, the well, penalty or the yardage? I would imagine as, Co- as Coach Wiggins looks at it, uh, he lost about as much yardage as he did. He's going to decline, decline it. it. Yeah, I have to agree with Coach Wiggins on that one. That brings up, what, second down and about 22? Well, also, you got the down as well. You That's get, right. So the loss of down goes with that. So a good play. We we're finally getting a little pressure on them. I expect them to go away from the pass, right back to that running game. You know, Greg, looking down on the sideline, you correct me if I'm wrong, but number 10 uh, is in the game as a wide receiver, and was he not the quarterback earlier? Has number one been the quarterback? No, one's been it all along. Oh, time. Thank you, Bo. We apologize. We do not have a loss for Harris County. We're so at a loss there. Wow. They're going to run a nice little screen, inside screen, and the Cowboys are going to pick it up at the 30 and bring him down. So he doesn't even make it back to the original line of scrimmage. Of course, he had a long way to go. That's going to bring up a third down. Boy, that that play was well designed and well set up, and not only a great play that time by number nine, Jalen Allen kept that play from going a long way. The receiver there had three blockers in front of him, and Jalen Allen was the only one between him and the goal line. So well, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, Leverett made an excellent uh, tackle. He got him, uh, actually yeah. Culpepper, got his hand on the jersey and just would not let him go. And right. If it wasn't for that, he'd have still been running. You're right, Coach. All right, timeout. Callaway. All right, Callaway's going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. Their second timeout of this first quarter of play. 156 left to go in the first quarter. 7 nothing. And this will be your premium right here. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say I combined home and auto with State Farm. Saved 760 bucks. Of this guy. Okay. Does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto, and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Matt Orr in LaGrange today. LaGrange at 706-882-9324 and put the life back in life insurance. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. So welcome back. We're looking at a minute 56 left to go in this first quarter of play. 7 nothing's your score. Harris County has the ball. They're looking at third down. They take it to the quarterback. He's going to go around the right side. He's going to be met there by a great job by the Cowboy Cavaliers. They upend him short of the 25-yard line. Good tackle that time on that side by the, uh, by the Cavaliers. They were able to string that play out. I believe that's number four, Terry Godwin, and also number 11, Dre Martin over there uh, combining for that tackle. So that brings up a uh, – is it fourth down? Yeah, it's fourth down now. Mm-hmm. The board, okay, fourth and ten. So well, more long, like fourth and 13. Goal. Long field goal here. Fourth and 13, actually. Okay. 
Ball sitting on the 34, so it'll be a uh, snap. Hold kick is up. And he's going to go through. He drilled it, boy. That, 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 uh, that 44 man, yard, guys. That young man was kicking them from 50 yards during warm up, so he had plenty of leg right there. So uh, another weapon for uh, Harris County puts him up by 10. So 10 nothing is your score, and Harris County has scored like a great football team. Great cities just don't happen. They require vision, hard work, and leadership. Hello, I'm Jim Thornton. Like you, I know LaGrange is a great city. I want to make it better for you and your family. I will strengthen our local economy, enhance public safety, and improve our quality of life. Jim Thornton, leadership at work for all of LaGrange. On November 5th, I'm like Jim Thornton here. Learn more at jimthornton.org and like Jim on Facebook. By the friends of Jim Thornton. Please go to jimthornton.org and like me on Facebook. And please remember to vote November 5th. Paid political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. So Harris County will kick the ball off the angle again towards the sideline. It's going to be taken at the 20. We head for the wall. Actually, going to bring it all the way across to the 30 on this side, to the 40. Still on our feet, and we're going to uh, actually step back on our feet to the 45, to the 50. What an exciting play by the Cavaliers. What a great run by number 15, Cedric Maynard. He simply would not go down. Number 10 for uh, Harris County had him wrapped up around the 40, and he kept those legs moving, got the ball out past the 50-yard line. It's a great field position for the Cavaliers uh, on their second offensive possession on the Harris County side of the 50. It looks like it's going to be marked about the 47-yard line. That's exactly right. They'll, they'll get across the 50 to the 47, and that's where the Cavaliers will have it first and 10. You know, Jack, this is a big drive early in the or early in the uh, or late in the first quarter uh, for the Cavaliers. They need to they need to answer the uh, uh, the ten points that Harris County's put up and not let Harris County run away from them. Twins to the near side, they slip in wide to the far side. Parks from the shotgun. We'll take it. Hand the ball off to Rosser. Just rides him in. Rosser trying to find his way to the outside. They're gonna bring him down. He's gonna lose about two, second and twelve. Good open field tackle that time by number ten for Harris County. The corner on that side uh, was able to get around Rosser's knees and bring him down. Uh, play lost about three yards all the way back to the fifty, so brings up about a second down and thirteen with fifty seconds to go in the first quarter. Jack, Craig, looks like he rode him in a little bit, a little, little bit indecisive by Tez on that play. Well, not only that, uh, he did extend the the arms a little bit longer than he should. But at the same time, the pursuit on the backside of that, on the corners on the on the, on the uh, Harris County defense has been anything but casual tonight. Yeah, their defensive line has done a good job. You're exactly right, Jack. Parks is going to take it. He's going to look for the line. He's going to get uh, just and we're going to have over. We're going to have holding in the line. Actually, one of the offensive linemen tackled number 52, who then, as a result, made a tackle on Parks, and that's where the uh, the flag will come in. So it is holding on Callaway. And the, the referee doesn't even have to consult just real quick there. This will be interesting to see if uh, Harris County wants this penalty or not because it will bring up a third and long. They will decline. decline. Mm-hmm. So the both coaches with some decisions made early. So now Callaway, we're looking at a third and well, about 13. Actually, that's a little bit more than 13 as I look at it. Don't believe, ticking down. don't believe he'll get his playoff. Yeah, 14 maybe. seconds left to go. Kellers break the huddle, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. Nine seconds, eight. Parks has uh, two men wide to the near side. Takes the snap, fakes it to Rosser, rolls to his right. Looking downfield, going to throw it as the buzzer sounds, and it's going to be knocked down again by a good play by a Harris County Tiger. We, and, and, you know, excellent, excellent thought. Uh, Taz has got Goblin on a go route, and he's flying down the sidelines, and he tries. CBT with us you're closer to what's important to you closer to home with three branches in LaGrange closer to your money with mobile and internet banking and six local ATMs plus you can use any Synovus or Publix Presto ATM in the southeast closer to people who care about you local people who make local decisions we're CBNT. how can we serve you today CBNT is a division of Synovus Bank member FDIC equal housing lender some restrictions apply to mobile banking are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking side. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking side. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking side. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. Let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mabel Smith-Sharp about a car loan that could save you hundreds. 
on the square in downtown LaGrange because he'll do a free discount double check to make sure you're getting the car insurance discounts you deserve, up to 40%. So give State Farm Agent Matt Orr a call today because being there to help keep more of your money in your pocket is why he's there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. Jack Owen, Tony Walls, Greg Hicks, and uh, the Cavaliers will have to punt the ball off to start the second quarter of play as they trail 10-0. And, uh, hey, he just did get that kick off. Harris County brought a lot of pressure and it resulted in a short kick. They're going to run a sweep to this uh, near side. And very elusive running back. We had him in the backfield. He's going to get back to the line. He's still on his feet wow. to the 40. And he's going to get close to a first down. Guys, we should have had him for about a three-yard loss. What a great run. <laughs> that, that's number five that time, Chapman. And uh, he's not all state because he's cute. Uh, he uh, he kept those feet moving, put that hand on the ground, and just simply would not go down. Right, and, you, and, and, and you're right, Jack. He had a, a, a jersey on the, in the backfield. He snatched loose away from that. He twisted and turned several times with his hand on the ground, and and what excellent balance! So you got to admire a kid yes, like sir. that to run the ball like that. Yes, sir. A lot of heart. He, he just refused to go down. Corbett Martin's all alone in the backfield. He's going to keep it. And we talked about that fake that he. Come up. There's the balls on the ground. Let's see who's going to come up with it. Harris County might have got back on that one. Yeah, number, number two for Harris County recovers. But they've been setting that play up the whole ball game. They've been handing off to Culpepper, the, the running back. This time, the quarterback, Martin, is going to keep it. And he's going to pick up the first down and more across the 50 to the 49. Big That's hit from Terry Godwin on, from his safety position right there. Knocked the ball out. But uh, Harris County was quick to get on the ball. We got an official timeout. We, we may be ho- hollering at the, the Callaway band. You don't know because they've uh, – they're making noise while Harris County's got the ball. You know, that's two fumbles in the game, guys, and both of them were recovered by the possession team. So um, I think you're right. And he may be talking to Coach, um, and it could be. No, not necessarily. He's not. He's actually looking at the defensive setup for some reason. I don't, I don't know what they're looking at out there. So here we go. Harris County again with the ball. And the ball up to the tailback. And we, we bring him down, but the guys, as I'm watching, we're, we're throwing bodies around. We're hitting people very well. We ain't wrapping up worth nothing. That was number 22 for Harris County that time. As number five, Chapman gets a break. Uh, he's still over there on the sideline, but uh, you're right, uh, uh, Jack. Uh, not real good tackling by the Cavaliers so far, but uh, third down in about uh, three here. Big third down. Mack will take it. He's going to stumble down in the backfield, lose about three yards. There's that zone read again that uh, we've come to know and love is in, in college football, and is, is, it's uh, infesting the pros now. But, uh, uh, yeah, he uh, simply got his feet tangled up with his running back that time, and, and, and a break for the Cavaliers. There was a hole up the middle. Looks like they're going to force uh, Harris County to punt for the first time tonight. Yep. You, you know, I, I know you saw a hole up the middle. What I saw is about six Cavaliers about to tackle him, and what I saw is if he'd have handed the ball off, the kid may have still been running on the outside. Yeah. So Harris County will have to punt the ball away. Here we go. There's a snap. Good snap. Kicks off. Nice high one. Kind of end over end. Bounces. And we need to get away from it. It goes down to the 10 yard line, and that's where the Cavaliers will take it first and 10. Interesting that Jet Snellings was deep for the Cavaliers that time and not Terry Godwin. Well, Terry has come out of the game a while ago when the uh, uh, referee called an official timeout and was talking to Coach Wiggins about going. Here, looking, he and Wiggins was looking back toward the uh, secondary. It was only the next play that Godwin came out, hmm. and so don't really know what that's all about. Trying to figure it out. All right, so Cowboy punts, Harris County punts, and now the Cowboys have the ball back. Here with the second quarter of play, 9:28 left to go in this first half. 10 nothing is your score. Harris County is leading this one. Cavaliers got a long way to go. Ball set up on uh, their own 10-yard line, 90 yards away. High uh, formation, and they're going to run up the parts. Takes it on the option, keeps it, gets to the 20-yard line. Show the first down, a late flag on that one. And, and a, I'm not it sure. may be a, <clears throat> a a late hit, if you will. He was on the ground, and some uh, looked like a Harris County kid came flying in. Let's see what happens. Harris County's walking backwards, so you may be exactly right. Looking down for the indication. Personal foul against Harris County. I think you called it right on, Greg. 
that's why we have Greg Hicks on the field. I, I was gonna say, that's why they pay me the big bucks. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to tell that Cohen gave me a raise this week. <laughs> Making a nickel now? <laughs> At least. That's uh, a buffalo nickel, yeah, too. Yeah, okay. yeah, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 921. Cohen was going to pull our certification. <laughs> show the world. 921. <laughs> Let's go in the first half. Kelly quickly back up to the line of scrimmage. They get a first down to work with. They're going to hand the ball off to the tailback. They're going to bounce around. So open room at the 40, cutting across to the 45 yard line. And that'll be right like, there close to another first down. That's Cedric Mater from his tailback position. His second good run of the night is he was able to come around the left side. Going to be real close to the first down, depending on where the official spot. It may be a little bit short there. It'll be about a foot. And, and, you know, guys, we really like the way Maynard's been running the ball this year. And, and I'm standing here watching him trying to make his cut, and, and the rubber is just flying up. And, and it's hard, really, to make a quick cut because it's like the field's slippery. They just slide right out from under him. So, anyway, uh, I thought we are going to get some good year on the field here. <laughs> Parks takes it. Or run the option, hands the ball off to Rosser. Rosser throws Smith. The oh, ball's out. Out. Rosser gets back on it. But they're going to say he's down. They're going to mark him down at the 45-yard line. Cavaliers got to break that time. That ball bounced right back to Rosser, number 52 for Harris County. Stood him up and just uh, just uh, took the ball away from him, snatched it out with those big hands. And uh, luckily for Cavaliers, it fell right back to him. And where they've got the ball marked, that's awfully close to a first down. Yeah, they, they had already called him down with his far okay. progress. Right. Uh, uh, however, on the field, it sure looked like. Now, I'm glad the Cavaliers got it. But it sure did look like that that ball was snatched out of his hands. <laughs> yeah, from here it did too. Just, just <laughs> a big a second before that whistle was blown. But at any rate, first down, Callaway. We'll take it with 8.05 left to go in the first half. 10 nothing is your score. Harris County leading. Parks rolls out. Hands the ball off to his tailback. He's going to find his way. Spinning, spinning, gets down to the 49-yard line. So second down. Good run that time by number six, Eddie Culpepper. And so far, uh, Greg, from up here, it looks as though uh, this the, the the Callaway offensive line hadn't been able to get untracked yet. The defensive line for the uh, for Harris County has done a good job up front. They have, but, but you know, Tony, uh, now all of a sudden we're exploding the outside. Of course, we've been doing that in the entire first quarter. And it looks like we I mean, we got a four-yard gain that time, or actually a six-yard gain. So uh, we'll take those all day long. Uh, and if we can't get them in the middle, we'll go around the edge. Parks back under center of the eye behind him. Going to run the option, keeps it, going to the, trying to get to the corner. Turns up field, across the 45, down to the 43, down to the 40, and a first down again for the Cavaliers. Good run that time by Tess Parks. And Greg, you mentioned him being able to get around the corner. That time he was able to get around the right side. Good blocking that time uh, by number six, Eddie Culpepper. Those, Culpepper, those wide receivers doing a good job of stop blocking. Coach Donay has got those kids doing a, a good job. And, and a lot of times on those long runs by Tez, it's a result of a good stop block by those wide receivers. Number two, Ed Daniel out there that time doing a good job. Sometimes and, it's just getting between the, the defensive man and the guy running the ball. And, and, you know, give credit to Tess, too. He broke a handful of tackles that time, gaining that extra yardage. Back to the shotgun. Parks will have Rosser to his right. Twins to the far side. Going to hand the ball. Excuse me. Parks is going to keep it. Nice fake. Goes across the 40. Cuts back. He's at the 35 and a flag, flag down. Flag down. That came from the referee again. We'll have a hole somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to indicate a hole. And, guys, well, that's about the third, fourth penalty. Maybe more. And, you know, these, these kind of mistakes are the things that mess you up. Well, you, you know, just when we started on our own 10 yard line, we're rocking and rolling inside Calgary wow. territory. And now we're going to back it up to, uh, I believe, just inside. Uh, Callaway territory. We're all, we've been in Harris County territory. Now that, that play right there cost us, looks like guys, about 15 to 20 yards. Yeah, yeah. way down inside the 40 we, we got to now. Cause you know, that was from the penalty, from the spot of the foul. And since the spot happened behind the line of scrimmage, it cost us extra. So first down though, first down at 20 for the 49. Parks will take it. Fake the handoff, looking, looking. Got a man deep. He's got a one wide open deep. Caught at the 10, 5, touchdown, Callaway Cavaliers. Michael Moss, number 22. What a great call by Coach Matt Napier that time. They faked that little bubble screen to Terry Godwin, got the defensive backs to commit up, and, and number 22, Moss, broke open down the field. Parks hit him with a perfect strike to get the Cavaliers on the board. What would we call that? A hitch and go, a screen hitch and go, huh? That was a, that was a beautiful play, a perfect execution. And, right and guys, as soon as he let that go, I held my hands up. I said, you don't, don't embarrass me. You better catch it. All he had to do was catch that one. Oh, <laughs> he, he was alone. There's nobody else back there. Great job of, of just sucking in the defense. Snap, hold, kick is up. 
No good, guys. Wow. And that kick is going to go wide to the right side. Yeah. So that's been, a, that's been a tough spot for the Cavaliers all year. Not a lot of consistency out of their kicking game right there. That could come back to haunt them later on. But that is six on the board, 10-6. We're closing in, 6-12 left to go in this first half of play. You're listening to Calorie Cavalier Football. For over 50 years, Holmes Pharmacy has been a part of your life and your neighbor. And through all those years, it's still locally owned and operated. Holmes Pharmacy on Commerce Avenue has a drive through window and has always had the time to talk to you one-on-one. We're ready for you to join our family at Holmes Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Perry Prather. If you're tired of the large box stores and are looking for fast personal service, come by today in Hamilton or LaGrange at 136 Commerce Avenue. Holmes Pharmacy, where we take care of you one prescription at a time. Check to approval. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Cavaliers. We'll kick the ball off to Harris County. We'll get the ball up to about the 23-yard line. And Greg, I don't know how that guy sees with all the hair coming out of that helmet. And you, and you know, but but he's able to he's able to do a good job running the ball. Hey, quick score update. Uh, similar game going on down in Thompson, Georgia, as Thompson Bulldogs are ahead of Lagrange ten to nothing. All right, the third quarterback is going to fake it, fake it again. He's going to be rolling out. He'll get out to the twenty five yard line and go out of bounds there. Good job by the secondary to uh, keep him from throwing the ball down. Yeah, exactly right, and good discipline by number eleven, Dre Martin. He kept, stayed on his feet, didn't take the ball fake, and was able to push your quarterback out of bounds, and he really looked like he didn't do a whole lot, but when you look up, he picks up three yards. And, and, and the Coach Wiggins and the, and the group for politicking over here for a hold. Uh, you know, it may break open this, this, and I may jinx them now, but it seems like with the exception of that first drive, the, uh, Hubbard and his staff have really made some good adjustments to, to kind of keep that drive from happening all the time. Quarterback's going to keep it on the fake, and he's going to be the first down across down to the 40-yard line. Good job that time again on that zone read. Um, the play opened up up the middle, and the quarterback was able to gain big, big yardage. Number 19, Quantavius Anderson from his defensive end position uh, made the tackle, but unfortunately it was about 10, 15 yards down the field. Time 48, left to go. 10-6 is your score. Harris County leading the Kelly Cavaliers. Carrots will break the huddle. Their quarterback will be in the shotgun set with a man to his right. Trips to the far side. He's going to hand the ball to his tailback. He just finds a way to get through the line. He's now at the 50, open field to the 40. It's a foot race down at the 30 to the 25, all the way down to the 20-yard line. And finally, we bring him down. But my goodness, guys, how are we going to tackle him? He is an excellent, excellent running back. And so in the the, uh, the offensive line, again, we can't give give them enough credit for Harris County. They've really got the Cavaliers on their heels, uh, not really able to, to slow them down. As you mentioned, Greg, up in, uh, this drive right here, they've really taken advantage of the Cavaliers. Right back to the line of scrimmage. In fact, they now, may be having too quick because I think they may have some movement in the line that time. Well, I, I, you know, now, if, from what I understand about this speed-up rule, and that's going to be an illegal procedure on Harris County, you have to give the defense the time to substitute. If if the offense substitutes, the, the defense has to be able to, to substitute also. It's, it's almost like a hockey game now, yeah. guys. If you want to substitute, your defense has to be sitting team. there ready to roll. Right. As soon as that will, you have to run out there. And, and, uh, and, and realistically... Yeah, that may be what some of the defensive coaches have to do, um, not just on the, as as the as the as the style of play evolves. Right. So they'll break the huddle. Look back to the far side. They'll put trips to this near side. The quarterback with a single back to his right. Going to hand the ball off to him. Who finds another great seam again? That Harris County front line is just doing a tremendous job as they get the ball all the way down to the 15. They are really gashing. Callaway's front uh, front four right now. They're 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 running at will. Every play they're calling is working. And uh, right now the Cavaliers are, are are really struggling, trying to hold on here with 4:47 to go to halftime, trying to keep uh, Harris County out of the end zone. Gashing and gassing because it, 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 they got to be tired as as much as they've been on the field. As they're going to go around the right side uh, again, breaks two, maybe three tackles on a flag there at the end of the run. I think we're going to have holding on number two. However, that doesn't take away from that that uh, tremendous. <laughs> athletic ability of wow. number five who was caught five yards in the backfield 
you know, he was caught five yards in the backfield on a shoestring, was able to pull out of that, and was able to actually make some positive yardage, only a yard or so, but that's all going to be negated on a holding call. You know, Jack, uh, Jack and Greg, there are a lot of, you know, good running backs and good players in the state of Georgia, but what separates the good ones and the great ones is that little muscle in their chest. And uh, number five, he runs with some determination and heart. He just will not go down, and that's what distinguishes himself from a lot of other running backs. Cascading quarterback takes it, and he's going to uh, keep it, and we're going to read that well. We're going to get him for a loss down at the, about the 26-yard line. Good penetration that time by number 20, Lorenzo Patterson, and number 27, Rashawn Lovitz from their defensive position. And that's the first time tonight that the, uh, the Callaway defensive line has beaten the uh, Harris County offensive line across the ball. Brings up a big third down and about 14 here now. Third down. A uh, timeout, Callaway. So Callaway will use their last timeout of the first half. Four minutes left to go in this first half of play. Ten to six is just when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Rob Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Upchurch on the web at robupchurchsales.com. Or when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Joel Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Upchurch, on the web at joelupchurch.com. Let's drive a soul today. KeyofTheGrange.com helps support your local economy. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. So everybody's back on the field. Things slow down just for a second here as Harris County just gets up and down the field so fast. Ten to six is your score. Four minutes left to go. And Harris is kind of knocking on the door. They got a third down and long. They go back at the pass. Quarterback got a little pressure. He's going to roll to his left. Looking, looking. We're going to bring him down to the 30-yard line with a huge play. Oh, my goodness. And going to get a late flag. Is that going to be a horse collar? Uh, I believe you're oh, right, Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. I, I know that uh, I can see across the side. Oh, line. my goodness gracious. Looks like the Harris coaches were calling for it. and, and uh, uh, Great job by the Cavaliers that time as they were able to bring the quarterback down. But a loss, that, actually. Yeah, that may bring up – that may give uh, Harris – oh, my goodness. That's going to give Harris County a first down. That's a tough call on the Cavaliers right there. Now, yardage-wise, it doesn't. Is it an automatic first down? Because the ball gets down to the well, it 15. Def- it, definitely, it definitely makes it a lot easier to go for here. So this is going to be, what, fourth down? Or is that is that a first? They're going to call it uh, third yeah. down and five, maybe. Third down and four. Right. And Wasn't that fourth down? No, that was third, third and down. four. So now we're on third again. They hand him off the tailback. Go around the left side. We're going to stop him short of the first down. That's, that's, right. that's going to be close. It's there. going to be close, That's guys. going to be close. That's going to depend on the spot. It looks like the fish is going to bring up fourth Just down. short. Yeah, just short. So Harris County, a big fourth down here for both teams is the uh, Cavaliers, I believe, will go. The, believe will get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, they did the first, so more than likely they'll have so the So it's going to bring up fourth down, and so so a big play here for the Cavaliers. They go for it. For back. Oh, they had him, in, had him in the backfield, too. And he's going to get the first and down across yeah. the 10. And they had a shot at him in the backfield. Number 25, Brandon Body just simply whiffed on him on that tackle. Now, but, you, you, I was just going to comment on how after that first series, uh, how we've made such good adjustments. Now, granted, uh, Harris has had a good um, uh, a good yardage this time, but we had them that time. Now, if not for right. the horse caller, right. it's Callaway's ball, and we would have held them. That's now, exactly right. you really got to step it up now inside the 10-yard line, first and goal with, from the nine. Important to hold Harris County to at least a field goal attempt here. To take the snap. Have the ball up that tailback. We trip him up in the backfield short of the 10. And got a late flag in from the umpire. Actually, so. that's going to be a hold on the guard who was blocking the tackler which looks like Patterson, I believe. That's going to back him up even further. Maybe that's that makeup call for that horse collar a while ago. What do you think, Greg? Uh, he, he had him in his hands. Hey, let me tell you something. That was pretty obvious right there, baby. <laughs> uh, he just got his butt whooped is what it so is. He had no Cav- choice to do but hold him. Break for the Cavaliers that time as they back the ball up. Now second down for uh, Harris County. Hey, right now this is exciting football right here. Yes, Real tense, guys. Good ball game. 10 to 6. Your score, 247 left to go in the first half of play. The Harris County quarterback takes it, rolls to his right, looks inside, got some pressure, bounces back around the right, looks downfield, throws it towards the end zone, got a man there, touchdown, 
for Harris County, and he's all alone in the back of the end zone. Well, right? as, Coach, as Coach Saban says, you got to play with your eyes. You don't look in the backfield. you got to stay on your man. And, uh, unfortunately, that time, Terry Godwin let, the, let his man get behind him. He lost contain, and uh, the quarterback made a great throw. And uh, that's a big touchdown right there for Harris County right here before the half. Well, Tony, you make a good point. Out of respect for the quarterback, when Terry saw him dip toward the line of scrimmage, he let his guy go. Shouldn't have done that, and all he had was about an eight-yard buffer and just enough to get the ball in. Snap, hold, kick is up, and that kick is good. So 17-6. Big drive that, that right there that time, but with 2.33 to go for the half, Cavaliers have a little time to maybe answer. Unfortunately, they have no timeouts, Jack. Nope, they've used all three. So when we come back, we got... Hello, beautiful. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, Anthony. How much does my discount double-check save me? About 150 Done. I don't have State Farm, but insurance, find me money. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You're going to be quicker than that. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you with unexpected savings. That's getting to a better state. Contact State Farm agent Mabel Smith-Sharp. There to help you with unexpected savings. More at jimthornton.org and like Jim on Facebook. Paid political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. So here we are. 17-6 your score, 2.33 left to go. And Cal- excuse me, Harris County will kick the ball off a high kick. Wow, that's a big one. Take it down at the – actually bounce it out of the hands. Go to the 10. Cutting up field to the 15. To the 20. Oh, baby. Cavaliers, 30. Crossing at the 40. Oh. All the way down to the 44-yard line. So good field position. 223 left. Just 10 seconds left. A six seconds off on that play. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Down here where I stand, there's a lot of pan popping going on. It's the Cavaliers with a good return that time. Cedric Maynard, again, who's had a big first half of the Cavaliers, gives the offense an opportunity to maybe go down and put some points on with 2.23 uh, to go before halftime with the Cavaliers down by a score of 17-6. to six. Hey, y- using the sideline, ball control, a lot of opportunity here, plenty of time to score. Uh, this is where the experience of a parks really comes in handy. You can just kind of check things out, slow down, take a deep breath, takes the snap, rolls to his right, good blocking ahead of him. The wow. hold, though, is going to have some of that good blocking. I think it was a hold. His Tez is still on his feet. Goes down at the 40. That's coming back. And, and the sad thing is that took about it was two, four, about, about 18 to 20 seconds, 21 seconds off the clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it, when you start, you start calculating about an average of six to seven seconds from midfield to run a play, and then when you start scrambling, that takes that factor out. And when you, when you hit the road, man, you better make sure you got the right decision made. The down really doesn't matter to us. Is it just got to get the yardage downfield? We're getting close to two minutes, two twelve now, seventeen six. Harris County leading. Well, from your guys' perspective, guys, did did it look like rather than a little down and out, they were they were actually trying to throw it thirty forty yards down the field? Looks like everybody went deep on that particular call. There was really nobody over on the other side. Well, and it could be a clear out too. Right, now. right. Could be a clear out for him to run. They, that looked awfully familiar to the play against Troop. Uh, un- <laughs> where, he took, where he took the ball to the right side. You, no, you're right. And uh, you know, just didn't that hole there. Yeah. So Twins back to this near side. The man's foot wide to the far side. Parks on the shotgun. will step up. Leave Take it. That's Dre Martin at quarterback. And it is Dre. I think there was an equipment problem for Tez. So Martin will get the ball to the 35-yard line. Just to gain about a yard. And Parks will come back on the field. He'll be looking at second down, minute 40, clock continues to tick. We can't stop the clock unless we go out of bounds or have an incomplete pass. Well, well again, Napier's trying to call the play, but again, with the clock running, it's almost like you got to have that play called before Parks go. Now we got substitution issues. Th- these guys have got to be here next to Coach Napier where they'll know what's going on, guys. Brandon Sutton has an equipment problem. His helmet's having a problem, so they have to roll another man back in. Minute 19, guys, we lost almost 20, 30 seconds here. Parks talks to his tailback, takes the snap. Doesn't really matter if we score. Parks will step up in the pocket, looking, looking. He's got a lot of guys around. He's he's free again, aiming for the corner, cuts back inside, gets to the 40-yard line. Very exciting play, but now we're looking at under 60 seconds. 56, 55, got to pop up, got to run a play. We're back at the line of scrimmage. Parks well, looks at the sideline. Real important, third. Third down, guys. we got to make some positive yardage. 42 seconds. Clock continues to tick. Takes the snap. Looking. Looking. Going to air it out all the way down the field. 
He's okay. got him. Got him. That guy was good. Oh, oh, right off his right off his fingertips. Good throw that time by Tez Parts. Uh, Terry usually comes down with that one right there, but that was just off his fingertips down here about the 20-yard line. We call him the playmaker for a lot of reasons, and usually that's, as you mentioned, Tony, right in his hands. But it uh, just goes off his fingertips, does stop the clock for 32 seconds, but we do have a fourth down now, and we'll have to punt the ball away. That was a great throw that time. The offensive line gave uh, Tez uh, a lot of time, and he put that ball right there where, part, where uh, Godwin could make a play on it, but unfortunately wasn't able to come down with it. But uh, we'll, we'll take our chances with him in the second half, I promise you. 12 seconds. I mean, the clock, the 32 seconds, I'm sorry. Play clock was at 12. Threw me off there. And there's the kick. Good clock. Kick. Chase it's going to get a good roll, guys. Oops. Actually, roll, roll backwards. That, that's, you know, that thing's weirdly shaped. 23 seconds left to go, and Harris County will be back on the field. With all three of their timeouts and 23 seconds to go. So let's see what, uh, what Harris County does here. I got a feeling they may just. Uh, Going into the uh, to the locker room with a uh, 11 point lead, but you never know. I think some of those linemen were kind of saying, "Can we rest for a minute?" Well, you know, one thing, well, Jack, he, those linemen are not playing both ways. You know, yep, one of the problems yep. in Hurt County, Hurt County was playing both ways. These linemen for for Harris County are not playing but one right. way, so they are getting some rest. And they're going to take it in. Look at the offensive setup. You got number 10 going deep to protect. Unless they're going to do a squib kick, quick quick kick, you know. <laughs> uh, probably not. No. There's a snap, and they'll just take a knee, and that'll end the first half of play. Greg, if you have a chance, if you can catch one of the coaches, it'd be awesome. <laughs> He's uh, going to see if he can get in there and catch up with uh, Coach Wiggins. <laughs> but, uh, Taylor, Harris County, uh, they, were, they, they came out and, and played as weeks. We knew that they would. 17-6 is your score. We'll talk more about it in halftime. You know, Jack, we, we knew coming in. Uh-huh. And this will be your premium right here. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say I combined home and auto with State Farm. Saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Matt Orr in LaGrange today. take a quick break when we come back we'll talk about this first half play we'll listen to some of the bands and uh we may be joined by the principal of callaway high i've asked her to join us and we'll see if she has a chance to make it up here but uh you're listening right now to uh the halftime shows we're about to go into 17-6 is the score harris county is leading callaway as we're at halftime here at callaway stadium you're listening to callaway cavalry football on 96 9 and 1240 wlag blue season is upon us and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from holmes pharmacy if you have medicare or insurance it could be free And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange can help you get to a better state. Because he'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange and officially get to a better state with State Farm. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-1704. 
Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Well, welcome to the Halftime Show, Jack Foreman. Tony Walls, Greg Hicks, and I'm joined up here in the booth by uh, the principal of Callaway High School. Ms. Wilson, welcome to the, the Halftime Show. We truly appreciate you being here and, and talking so to us about the Callaway Cavaliers. Oh, well, we are very excited about all the things that are going on at Callaway right now. Um, I was just real impressed how you body checked Coach Woods out of the way there as he came in. That was uh, well, you know, pretty awesome. Especially after running up the, the sidelines, and then you were still able to kind of check him off to the side. Well, I am a little out of breath from walking up all those stairs, but um, <laughs> but I, he, he got out of my way, so that was a good thing. Well, I'll tell you what, you uh, – have, uh, you stepped in halfway through the year last year at, at Callaway. Uh, have started your first full year going in, and uh, I know that there are a lot of exciting things happening uh, over the Callaway campus, especially a little bit of a construction going on there. Over there, we are. We are very excited about what's taking place on our campus. Um, if you haven't been by lately, you certainly need to drive by and see our new multi-purpose facility that's being built. Um, it is going to be state of the art and is going to include um, an indoor practice facility. We're going to have batting cages. We're going to have locker rooms concession stand on the outside by the tennis court. So we're just really excited that our students are going to get to, to have the benefit of having that um, right there on our campus that we can all enjoy. I look, uh, look at some of the, the, the first architecture footage, and they actually took little pictures of the coaches and sat them around the, the thing. And I, I think there was uh, maybe Terry Hayes up in, in one of the parapets uh, filming one of the practices. It was so funny. I didn't even realize that in the original when I first saw the drawings. And then just a few weeks ago, I was looking, and I was like, that's Coach Sheriff. No, that's Coach and they're all, all of their you know, pictures scattered yeah. throughout the drawing. So okay. but we're really excited to see that progress. That's exciting. Of course, lots of things happening at Callaway. I know your softball team has, has been done a, done a real good job. They've had, had a lot of fun here at, uh, in the early part of the year. Absolutely. We just had our Callaway Classic Tournament last weekend. went really well. We had some great weather for it. Lots of good teams. Lots of good competition. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we're taking on Troop. Um, strikeout for Cancer. Um, strikeout Cancer games tomorrow morning at 9 and 11. We're going to try to beat that rain and um, and get in two games with Troop tomorrow, and all of our proceeds go to Relay for Life. That's so. tremendous. That's tremendous. I'll tell you what, the, we talked about, uh, I, I had a chance to be at Callaway Middle when it first started. Uh, of course, the middle school and the high school were all there in one big building uh, right. together. Uh, Tony, of course, his children went through Callaway High, so we've kind of watched it from its inception, and really, it's amazing how y'all have really done a tremendous job of creating a community there at Callaway High. Absolutely. We are, are so thankful for our students and our parents, and, and really the community that just rallies around the Callaway Cavaliers, and just creates that whole sense of pride that we have in, in wearing red and black and supporting the C, as yep. we say. So um, we're very thankful for, for all of our um, support that we get. Well, I'll tell you what, I know that in coach, talking with Coach Wiggins over the years, the faith-based organizations that come in and, and help with pregame meals and things like that, and just the support. These players know that people in their community, not just their mamas and daddies, but other people are really lifting them up and making right. sure that they have what they need to get on the field. Right, and, and it's very evident, and you say in that, just Mountville Baptist Church fed the football team today. Mm -hmm. Um, so our students are able to see um, a wide variety of people that love them and support them and what what's best for them, not just athletically, but academically, socially, preparing them for their next step in life. So um, that's what we're trying to do, and we're all trying to do it together. Well, you've, uh, I think a similar great team out there. Uh, I know uh, uh, Mr. Landry, is a, uh, Dr. Landry is a great guy and has a tremendous experience, and uh, he's just fun to work with, I bet. Oh, absolutely. We, um, Dr. Landry and Mr. Mills and Ms. Tremoloni and I, we, we really feel like we um, – work really well together and um, are, everybody's on the same page and same with our staff our faculty we are we're all focused on doing what's best for our students and um and we just had a really good start to this year that's excellent we got you know set of vision and uh, we do appreciate the leadership that you're giving well, for the uh, the callaway family and uh, i know it's going to be a tremendous first full year absolutely, there absolutely. At High. it's been a great beginning and so i'm looking forward to it continuing on and, and, and getting this first full year under right. my belt. well we're hoping the callaway cavaliers can come back in absolutely. the second half of place they're right now they're of the Harris County Tigers, 17-6. I'm sure the Coach Wiggins and the gang are going to put together a great uh, game plan to bring back out in the second half. I do appreciate Lauren Wilson joining us here uh, at halftime and talk more about Cowboy Cavaliers. We're going to talk more about this ball game. We come back here listening to Cowboy Cavalier Football on 96.9-1240 WLAG. Hi, friends. Jess Licht here with Kia of LaGrange. We take pride in serving our customers. There are no gimmicks or tricks to get you into our doors. We're the dealership you can trust. 
Shop with us and see the difference. Right now, all Kia Souls must go to make room for the arrival of the totally transformed 2014 Soul. The 13 Soul starts as low as 14.4 and is backed by Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Come test drive a Soul today. KiaLagrange.com helps support your local economy. Proven leadership is a must to keep LaGrange strong, and we have the opportunity to elect a mayor that will work for all of LaGrange. That's Jim Thornton. He knows what needs work and what already works. Jim Thornton is ready to listen to you and work hard to keep LaGrange strong. So vote Jim Thornton, Mayor, November 5th. Hello, I am Jim Thornton, and if you want to know more about me and my campaign for mayor, please go to jimthornton.org and like me on Facebook. And please remember to vote November 5th. Paid political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. Live here from Callaway Stadium on the field is the Harris County Band, uh, they're doing a rendition of uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia. Nice little uh, thing they're putting together. Greg Higgs, are you with me? Looking out there to see if Greg's on the field. I don't see him right now. Let me kind of run down what happened in the first half of play, if I can. Uh, as we're here at halftime, the Harris County Tigers right now are leading the Cowboy Cavaliers 17-6. to uh, Harris County got the ball first. They won. Uh, they actually lost the toss, but... Uh, the Cavaliers deferred to the second half. Uh, they took the ball 93 yards, drove right down the field. And with eight th- minutes and three seconds left to go in the first quarter, they scored and got the pre-AT. 7 nothing was the score. Cowboy got the ball down on the 11-yard line and drove down to 31. Did a good job of getting the ball down there. Uh, but uh, that last uh, the last time they got the fourth down, tried to pick up the, the touchdown, but were unable to. And so uh, in, in that drive, the Tez Parks had a couple of big runs. In fact, they ran for about the 30 across the 50 down to about the 35-yard line. So uh, Harris County got the ball again there at the 31. They drove down uh, and they were able to kick a 44-yard field goal. So it was 10 nothing with a minute 19 left to go in the first quarter. So in the first quarter of play, uh, Harris County had the ball twice, was able to score both times, seven points in the first one, three points in the second one. So as we went into the first quarter of play, uh, we will see the second quarter of play, we're looking at a score of 10 to nothing. Until we got the ball again after a nice run back to the 47-yard line, but they had to punt the ball. Harris County, we get the ball again. They punted the ball as well. Then Kelly got the ball back. They got it from the 10-yard line, uh, and then uh, – it was a time for them to try to work the way down. down. I think we got a highlight as the Cowboy Cowboys were able to score on this drive. Parks will take it. Fake the handoff. Looking, looking. Got a Pumps man it. deep. He's got a one wide open deep. Caught at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Cowboy Cavaliers. Michael Moss, number 22. What a great call by Coach Matt Napier that time. They faked that little bubble screen to Terry Godwin. Got the defensive backs to commit up. And, and number 22, Moss, broke open down the field. Parks hit him with a perfect strike to get the Cavaliers on the board. So Michael Moss was able to make that catch. Uh, 10-6 was the score. We, we missed the point after touchdown. And then uh, Harris County got the ball, and they answered right back down the field. They drove down from the 28, uh, got a touchdown. So it was 17-6 with 2.33 left to go in the uh, in the second quarter of play. We were really hoping to be able to keep them out of the end zone. In fact, uh, several times the, the Cavaliers did a good job of, uh, of making some tackles behind the line. Uh, a couple of penalties got, got us messed up. They gave them a chance to get down inside the five, and finally they were able to come away with a touchdown. So with 2.33 left to go, Calway got the ball again there at the end, uh, and they were unable to uh, to get the ball really down the field, had to punt the ball away, and then uh, Harris County just took a knee there at the end 
to end up the first half of play 17-6. to So a lot more football yet to play. I think it's been an exciting ball game. Uh, it's gone kind of back and forth. Uh, really a lot of a lot of hot, uh, there's a, very, a lot of hitting going on down there in the interior line. Great talked a little bit about that a little bit ago. We'll have him come back and talk more about that with us in just a moment. But so right now you're listening to Halftime right here live from Callaway Stadium as the Callaway Cavaliers are taking on the Heard County Tigers and Heard County, excuse me, Harris County Tigers. Harris County is winning 17-6. The reason I said Heard County is because I got some scores from the guys back at the station. Uh, Georgia sent me some scores here. Thompson right now leading over LaGrange 10 to nothing. They're getting close to the half there if they're not in the half. Heard County right now over Bremen 21 21- 14. So uh, we've got a few more scores. We'll get those for you and get all that caught up as we continue halftime. The Cowboy Cavalier bands on the field. We'll listen to them a little bit. We come back. Well, let's go ahead and take another break. You're listening to Cowboy Cavalier Football on 96.9 and 1240 WLAG. Blues season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706 706-523- 23014. Hi friends, Jess Licht here with Kia of LaGrange. We take pride in serving our customers. There are no gimmicks or tricks to get you into our doors. We're the dealership you can trust. Shop with us and see the difference. Right now, all Kia Souls must go to make room for the arrival of a totally transformed 2014 Soul. The 13 Soul starts as low as 14.4 and is backed by Kia's 10-year 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. Come test drive a soul today. KeyofTheGrange.com helps support your local economy. Like a great football team, great cities just don't happen. They require vision, hard work, and leadership. Hello, I'm Jim Thornton. Like you, I know LaGrange is a great city. I want to make it better for you and your family. I will strengthen our local economy, enhance public safety, and improve our quality of life. Jim Thornton, leadership at work for all of LaGrange. On November 5th, let's elect Jim Thornton mayor. Learn more at jimthornton.org and like Jim on Facebook. Paid political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Stadium, Jack Mormon. Tony Walls, Greg Geeks. We're here at halftime in the... Callaway Band is on the field, and I appreciate Lauren Wilson joining us here at halftime and talking about the things going on in Callaway. I tell you what, Tony, I think she's doing a great job out there. She really is. She uh, she stepped in there, and uh, she's been with us. Well, this is her first year, and she's first full done, year, first huh? full year. Yeah, she's done a great job out there, and just continued the uh, the excellence that's uh, that we've come to know and come to expect from Callaway High School. Right now, the band is on the field, and so we're going to take a moment and listen to a little bit of them as they've done a great job down the field. Let's uh, go down to the field and listen to them. And the crowd down there is the Cowboy Marching Band uh, doing a little bit of Beatles music. And I was telling Tony it's kind of nice that they actually can know who the Beatles were. There you go. They, too, uh, they got a lot of sound coming from a, a little band doing a good job out there. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Coach Hayes was the only one alive when the Beatles were playing. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
<laughs> we'll have to share that with him uh, one day when we get a chance there, Jack. <laughs> well, I like that the, the band's having a good time. They've uh, got a really unique little, little show here that they put on. Really a crowd entertainer. And uh, Tony, we were talking uh, to uh, Lauren, and during the uh, last break, I had a chance to kind of run down the, the first half of play and Looking at Harris County, had one, two, three, four, you know, five different possessions. He came away with scores in three of those five, and that's that's how you get ahead in the ball game. And that's that's really been the difference in the game. The Harris County's found a way to make a play when they've had some opportunities. Defensively, since that first drive, Callaway's done a pretty good job. You know, Jack, until that last drive of the second half, and uh, the pace uh, might have caught up with the Cavaliers a little bit. But offensively, we've been able to move the ball, but unfortunately, we've had some tough penalties as we've gotten down inside the 20 or the 15. But, I mean, that's part of the game. It's not excuse is just part of it. You have to be able to overcome those. And so, and the, the Harris County's had some penalties. Yep. They've been able to find a way to work around it. And that's what the Cavaliers are going to have to do. And I'm sure, you know, it, 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 we talked earlier, it's a game of adjustments. You know, the coaches are going to halftime and uh, uh, correct some things and see what they need to do different. And, uh, you know, hopefully the players can execute that plan. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the second half. Callaway, really important first drive. Callaway, I believe, receives the opening kickoff of the second half. So it's it's really going to be important for the Cavaliers to come out and put some kind of points on the board, preferably a touchdown. Mm-hmm. But they really need to uh, to come down, uh, establish some momentum, uh, and put some points on the board. Like I said, preferably with a touchdown and cut cut into this lead and then, uh, you know, play defense and see what happens. Well, you're right. Harris County did win the, uh, the toss. And uh, me, the, the Cowboys Cal- Cal- do win the toss. They deferred the second half, so they will be the ones receiving as we go into the second half of play. Right now, the Cowboys Cal- 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 band having a, a lot of fun down there. A very uh, crowd entertaining show. And uh, we'll uh, take a quick break as they're going to finish that up. We'll have the teams back on the field and ready for the second half of play. We come back. You're listening to Cowboys Cal- 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 football on 969-1240 WLAG. Hi, friends. Jess Licht here with Key of the Grange. We take pride in serving our customers. There are no gimmicks or tricks to get you into our doors. We're the dealership you can trust. Shop with us and see the difference. Right now, all Kia Souls must go to make room for the arrival of a totally transformed 2014 Soul. The 13 Soul starts as low as 14.4 and is backed by Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Come test drive a Soul today. KiaOfTheGrange.com helps support your local economy. Proven leadership is a must to keep LaGrange strong, and we have the opportunity to elect a mayor that will work for all of LaGrange. That's Jim Thornton. He knows what needs work and what already works. Jim Thornton is ready to listen to you and work hard to keep LaGrange strong. So vote Jim Thornton, Mayor, November 5th. Hello, I am Jim Thornton, and if you want to know more about me and my campaign for mayor, please go to jimthornton.org and like me on Facebook. And please remember to vote November 5th. Paid political announcement by the friends of Jim Thornton. It's tough out there, trying to stretch every paycheck a little further than the last one. It means cutting cost, and one of the best places to start is at the office of State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange, because he'll do a free discount double check to make sure you're getting the car insurance discounts you deserve, up to 40%. So give State Farm Agent Matt Orr a call today, because being there to help keep more of your money in your pocket is why he's there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. We're getting ready for the second half of play. 17-6 is your score. Harris County leading the Callaway Cavaliers right now. Uh, Tony, we talked a little bit about uh, in the last break about uh, how explosive and quick that Harris County would get the ball up and down the field. And, you know, if you're thinking about adjustments, what we got to do, what kind of things are you thinking about uh, going into the second half? Maybe the biggest adjustment is for the offense to keep the ball a little longer. Well, there you go. You know, if you, you know, we talked about that early. That that's uh, uh, let's give their athletes credit. Number one and number five, mm-hmm. and their old line, excellent, excellent football players. Okay, and, and you got to give them first of all, you got to give them all the credit in the world because they're not out there scrimmaging. They're out there to do their job, right? And too. But for the Cavaliers, I think it's important for them to come out and take that. Maybe go on a five, six, 
seven minute drive, mm-hmm. put some points on the board, whether it be a field goal, preferably a touchdown, and uh, then for that defense to take over because uh, the pace of the game, uh, you know, the Cavaliers were they. And one thing they haven't been able to do tonight, Jack, is sub freely like mm-hmm. they normally do. Coach Wiggins likes to rotate a lot of defensive linemen, and the the the, the pace that the uh, the Tigers are playing with has really really negated that. You made a great point there because the line of scrimmage is really we're really having a hard time because they're opening up some big holes for those running backs. Uh, but for me, uh, if I'm talking to my defensive guys. I'm telling them, look. <coughs> Excuse me. I love the way you're flying around when you're hitting, but we're not wrapping up at all. And, and the defensive line, you know, I haven't. This again, this is only the third game of the season, but this it, team is just on happen. Good leadership. Jim Thornton. you is a great city. I want to make it better for you and your family. Streets have local economy, enhance public safety, and improve quality of life. You're closer to what's important to you. Closer to home with three branches in LaGrange. Closer to your money with mobile and internet banking and six local ATMs. Plus, you can use any Synovus or Publix Presto ATM in the southeast. Closer to people care about you. Look at people who make local decisions. We're CBNT. How can we serve you today? CBNT is a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Some restrictions apply to mobile banking. This in practice. No. You can see it on film. You can prepare for it as best you can, but you really can't simulate the speed in practice. All right, they're back on the field. We're ready to kick the ball off. It will be Callaway returning the ball. And there's the kick to start the second half of play. High kick taken. Back out of the two. Stepped on the end zone line, brings it out to the 10, 15, still on our feet, to the maybe the 16 yard line. That's, that's where the Keller Kellers line at first and I'm 10. I'm sorry, Jack. That's great coverage that time by the Harris, Ty- Harris County Tiger kickoff team. They kicked the ball. Godwin was unable to get any momentum going as he brought the ball back out to the 15. Harris County did a great job on covering and uh, wrapped him up. And so Cavaliers got 85 yards to go on their first drive. So, uh, you know, the, the first five minutes of the of the second half is, is important for both teams. So we may look back as we do our recap tonight, and this could be a critical five minutes for both teams, whoever controls this five minutes. They break the huddle, make the way to the line of scrimmage, going straight to the eyes. Let's put it on wide, left and right. Parks will go under center. Takes the snap, backs up, hands the ball off to the tailback, hit at the line of scrimmage with a nice job of moving the pile about two, maybe three yards on that one. Good job that time by Eddie Culpepper from his tailback position. As you said, did move the pile. You know, Jack, one thing that we talked about, Devon Rosser has not been able to get loose tonight, mm-hmm. the fullback for the Cavaliers, and they usually count on him for one or two big plays. Right. Ash County's done a, done a good job of shutting him down, and also Terry Godwin had yeah. been able to be a factor in this game so far. So those are a couple things to look for in the second half, and Callaway get the ball in their hands. That's going to be Goblins putting out wide to the right. Ross will be at the, the fullback position. Culpepper will be at the tailback on this play. Parks under center. Going to run the option down the line. Going to keep it. Trying to get to the corner. They're going to bring him down. And he may not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. Greg, did, did it, 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 it's interesting you say that. Uh, <laughs> we're calling a horse collar here on the sidelines because uh, he is. Uh, he, he let go of him, but they don't know why they didn't call it because they could have. Harris County did a good job of stringing that option out. They had to had Tez covered, had the pitch man covered, and Tez really had nowhere to go with the football. So he wisely kept it and didn't gain much, but uh, he didn't lose anything either. So big third down and seven for the Cavaliers here early in the uh, second half. Need to move the ball down the field. 10:44 left to go in the third quarter of play. 17-6 your score. Harris County leading the Cali Cavaliers and live from Galloway State. Very great. Speaking of a score, 24-6 Thompson uh, at halftime. You guys may have already had that score update. Did not, but I appreciate that. Parks. Looks to pass. Checks down to his third receiver. Good job of looking down. Great vision. Terry Godwin. Into 32. Terry Godwin. Good job that time. Nice route. Terry went down about 15 yards. Pulled up. Tez hit him. Hit him with a perfect throw. Allowed him to catch it and turn up field. Big first down that time for the Cavaliers. Good throw. Good play call. Good execution. Well, Tony, as you and I were talking at halftime, you know, uh, there's a couple of things that, that Terry did in the first half that he'd just rather not have happened. And, you know, to get his confidence back, to get him rolling, to get him a big, big play maker, you got to get in his hands. Sparks going to hand the ball off to his tailback. Actually, he's going to keep it. I, I took the fake. And he keeps it. And they did not take the fake because they took bring him down 
right back to the line of scrimmage. Good job again by the Hash County defensive line. Number 52 for them up front had a big night. I wish I had that roster where I could call his name. That young man's had a had a big ball game for them up front defensively. And again, Cavaliers aren't not able to get uh, uh, to get that running game going so far here in the first half. We'll bring up a sec- uh, second half. I'm sorry, second down and nine. They run about a little four three. And they've done a good job of holding Callaway right there at the line of scrimmage. Twins to the near side. The man's foot wide to the far. Ross will be the back side Parks. Parks just straight up the middle. And they would usually get a lot of yards out of that play. Parks is going to reverse his field. Loses his helmet. Actually, it looks like uh, <laughs> Ross was trying to take the ball from and, and run with it. They had already called it down before they, before he was allowed to. Uh, and that's a good call for yeah. protection. Yeah, the helmet had already come off and the whistle had blown. But, uh, uh, you know, again, didn't really give that option a chance to work. Took it to the end. and looked like he might have had some room on the outside to pitch the ball. But uh, it brings up another. And then lost some yardage. And now you got third down and about 11. But, you know, and, and we talked about rule changes over the last few weeks. That is one of them I do remember is when a helmet comes off, the whistle will blow. So they'll try to stop the play. So, uh, and that's the first time. Now, we've seen uh, uh, leverage helmet come off a couple times on defense, but that the play was basically over. Mm-hmm. That play there was continuing on. So Now, in high school, do you come out of play if your helmet comes off just like college? I believe they do. Okay. I think you're right because it is not Parks in there. That's the quarterback's position. Godwin. It's going to be Godwin. He's going to be brought. Actually, he's still in his feet, but now Harris County just swarms all wow. over him. Great pursuit. What, great pursuit. Tremendous pursuit. pursuit. County. Yes, sir. they got a lot of people around the football. The play was made by the cornerback number 10 as he was the first one to uh, to get a hand on Parks. And so uh, Cavaliers uh, were not able to do anything on their opening drive. Going to bring up fourth down at about 20. So uh, they're going to have to punt from deep in their own territory. Big positive play they, they had was on that pass route to uh, Godwin. Uh, just can't seem to contain that, that defensive line. As you noted earlier, Tony, there these uh, Harris County has come to play. There's a snap taken. Kick is up a high kick, not very deep. Super high, though. Bounces, takes a Cavalier bounce across the 50 down to the 45 yard line. That's where the Cavaliers, well, excuse me, that's where the Harris County Tigers will have it first and 10. <laughs> Harris County going to have great field position for their opening drive, Jack, on their own 45 yard line. Guys, we talked about adjustments, and uh, looks like Harris County's made a few as well as they've been able to really uh, step up and, and keep uh, Parks in, ch- in check uh, as he's trying to option the ball off, and, and they have not let him get to the corner. And and if I'm Harris County, I'm going to continue to do what I did in the first half until Callaway can show they can stop it, which is number one and number five. So here we go. And that is exactly the the combination of that we – he hit him at the line of scrimmage. His helmet's going to pop off. He pops out, goes around the left side, gets back to the line of scrimmage again. Uh, you, you, you can't coach that effort. There's no. there's no way now. That might be one of the best one-yard runs we'll see this year in high school football, but he made it, several people miss. And, and Greg, I, it looks like the leather's popping down there early in the second half. I'm telling you, that, that's one thing I can say about this entire game tonight. Uh, there's been pads popping the whole game. Fumble oh, here. Can't like the Cavalier on it. Callaway's got it. It's like Cavaliers fell on that one. So that's a if they've got it, that's a break for the Cavaliers. That's a huge play. Number 27, Rashawn Loveless fell on that one. So opportunity here for the Cavaliers was 7.48 to go into third quarter, down 17-6. Just kind of bounced off his shoulder pass. The quarterback was usually very sure-handed. No, uh, 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 quarterback, uh, that's right. Well, you didn't have five going out. He is. He was out that time, So, which that was the quarterback, wasn't it? No, number one's the quarterback. Yep. Five's the tailback. So uh, it wasn't handing off the same guy. So, regardless, it's going to be Callaway with the ball and good field position at the 42 yard line. Got to take advantage of it. Guy, you're exactly right, Greg. Got to put points on the board here. <laughs> They'll move around a little bit in the backfield and they don't like what they see. So, I have right. to call it timeout. Yep. Some confusion at that, that time. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better banking side. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better banking side. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better banking side. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. Let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mabel Smith-Sharp about a car loan that could save you hundreds. Life insurance can live on for your family. 
Call State Farm Agent Mabel Smith-Sharp in LaGrange at 706-882-9324 and put the life back in life insurance. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back and appreciate uh, Britt, George, and everybody back at the station taking care of us tonight. Giving us lots of scores and lots of information and just making sure everything sounds great as the Kelly Cavaliers have the ball first and ten. And Parks is going to turn up field on the option. Gets across the line of scrimmage down to about the 37-yard line. Good gain on first down. He gets to, they actually fell forward. They're going to mark it on about the 36. So uh, good gain on first down. He picked up almost seven yards there, Jack. I can take it. Back in the huddle as the Callaway looking for a nice methodical drive here from the 42. Just get it down there. Let's get some points out of this drive. They break the huddle. Man wide, left and right, eye formation. And there's that trap play we like so much as Ross is going to break it big. He pick up a first down inside the 30, down to almost the 25-yard line. First time they've been able to establish that play tonight, uh, uh, Jack. And you know that most of Call- Callaway's offense is, is determined on or predicated by that fullback. And that's really the first time Ross has been able to gain any positive yardage all night. And we're seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Eight yards right up the middle, guys. So beginning to the line begin to establish itself a little bit. Back to the eye part. To the back up. And the ball off to the tailback. Finds a single on the left side to the 20. Cuts to the 25. 10. 5. Kelly's going to go in for a touchdown. Don't see any flags, Jack. So that's a great job by the Callaway offense. Taking advantage of that great field position with that turnover. And it looks like the Cavaliers are going to go for two here. Not a bad idea. 17-12. That's a great run that time by number six, Eddie Culpepper. Good blocking on the left side. He was untouched until he got in the secondary, made a safety miss, and uh, carried it all the way in for a touchdown. So 6.51 to go here in the third quarter. Harris County 17, Callaway 12 with a two-point conversion. Come. All set up by that great defense while ago causing that fumble, That's guys. Right. So going for two, Parks under center. Rolls out. Hands the ball to Culpepper. Culpepper going to go bounce around to the left side. Looks. How close is he? Oh, where are they going to mark him? He looks like he's in. Uh, one of the referees saying his chest on the line. They're not going to give it to him. Oh, that was close. I, I, I think the, his back fell right on the goal line. Uh, wow. wow. That could have gone. For 50 years. And through all those years, it's still locally owned and operated. Holmes Pharmacy on Commerce Avenue has a drive through window and has always had the time to talk to you one-on-one. We're ready for you to join our family at Holmes Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Perry Prather. If you're tired of the large box stores and are looking for fast personal service, come by today in Hamilton or LaGrange at 136 Commerce Avenue. Holmes Pharmacy, where we take care of you one prescription at a time. Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back as the Cavaliers will kick the ball off to Harris County. And that one's coming back, Jack. Yeah. Keyshawn Freeman was tackled by three people in there around the 20-yard line, so that one's coming back. Jack, right during that break, excuse me, if you want to know why Coach Wiggins has been so successful as a head coach and people want to play for him, during that break, he had his entire offensive line over here on the side, and he was down on his knees, and he was pumping those kids and coaching them up. So now Tess Parks is over there, and they realize that's where this game will be won and losses yeah. on that old line. And Coach, Wigg- Coach Wiggins coaching them up during the game. They showed up big time in that last series. That's for sure. Harris County will have the ball uh, brought back. It's going to go all the way back to, wow, you're going to mark it down to about the 10-yard line. Looks like about the 12. 12, yeah. Yep. So the Cavalier defense needs to step up and get three and out here if they can. Well, hey, scoop and score will be fine with me. But they're going to break a run down to the 20, 25, and we take it down to about the 30-yard line out of bounds over there. Late hit by Harris County. They're going to pop one of our guys in the back. No flag on the play, but wow. Well, from where, well, where we were, it looked like it may be late, but the official was standing right there, so I guess what he saw wasn't, uh, was on the field of play. So, But again, number five. Jack, wow. What a, what a great running back. That's he, all uh, I can say is wow. If, I, if I'm Harris County, hey, I'm going to feed him. Hey, here it is. It's not heavy, as Herschel said. He carried 40 times. There's a snap. We're back going to keep it. Going to take a, kind of a little draw play. He's going to get across the 30. 
down to about the 33-yard line. And that, didn't look, that didn't look like much, but he actually picked up five yards. So uh, you see where the, he brings up about a second down in about five. So Just kind of wheeling, dealing back there from his quarterback position. Trips to the near side. Well, it's such a tough read because the quarterback has the option to hand it or keep it. Yeah. And he's doing a great job of reading those tackles. Callaway's going to jump offside, looks like, there for and That's exactly going to be the case. And Kirshner's against the Cavaliers. 6.03 left to go in the third quarter play. Callaway 12, Harris County 17. Cavaliers have been able to score twice with touchdowns, but the, the elusive extra point has been there tonight. And that's looming big now, Jack. Instead of a three-point game, it's a five-point game. Yep. Quarterback going to hand the ball off to the tailback. We're going to grab him. But, man, he just pulls people down the field across the 45 to the 46. Right straight up the middle of the field with big Justice Perkins. And Justice is no baby himself. As uh, number five Chapman kept those legs moving and picked up about six yards on first down. And Harris County so far has been able to come out of the shadow of their own end zone with a, a good looking drive here. Once again to the trips to the near side. Quarterback going to take it again, hand it off to Chapman. Chapman had a little trouble getting the ball. He's pop, 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 and then finally brought down. Actually, a little bit of a loss there. Finally got him on the ground. Keyshawn Freeman and Dre Martin that time uh, doing a good job. But. Uh, uh, you know, again, he doesn't he doesn't go down easy. Uh, he keeps those feet moving, and, uh, and he seems to always be falling forward, Jack. This coach is uh, rotating guys off the field like a hustle. Those guys coming off. You know, they got to make sure that they don't uh, mess things up. And the quarterback's going to take it straight read. Then he's going to just dish the ball off. But Kelly is right there. He's going to get the first down, but a really neat play by the quarterback as he rolls. looks like everybody's stepping up to get him. Then he just dumps it off to his uh, tailback coming out of the backfield. And, and we, late, right. we got a late sportsmanship. And I believe that's on line. number two. Number two, yeah, it yep. sure is. He was signaling the first down after the play was over. So, you know, guys, you, you look at that play and – uh, you, you think of Sandlot football, and that's the one thing you can't coach is improvisation. You can be have everybody in your correct spot, everybody on their man, but when a quarterback has enough uh, uh, ability and athletic skills to make that kind of play, it's hard to stop. Luckily for Callaway, they got an unsportsmanlike penalty. So the, that, that penalty will bring them back to the 39-yard line. Uh, uh, Harris, it will be a first down. Harris County quarterback out of the game. He took himself out, so... He was hit big time in that play. Yeah, he was. Well, because you know, it looked like he was running the ball, and as soon as he released it, I guess he kind of relaxed a little bit, and they got popped hard. He's up on the sidelines, though. I think he'll be back in there in just a minute. So they take it from the shotgun, and another big run for Harris County. Oops. Number five across the 40, and still running. He gets to the 39-yard line, and just out of nowhere, he picks up the yardage they lost in more. Again, everything starts up front, and, and Harris County's offensive line tonight has really won the battle up front, just as they did that time. A gaping hole. Everybody on the defense knew that number five, <clears throat> excuse me, number five was going to carry the ball, and yet he was able to pick up big yardage. Five will step out of the ball game. Twenty-two will come in. That's the tailback for Harris County. Kelly showing blitz. They'll change the play. Quarterback number one is back in in Martin. And now he'll signal and look back again. Third attempt, takes the snap, and just hands the ball to 22 to tailback, and he doesn't lose much there as he's going to get across the 35 to the 34-yard line, and uh, he, he runs just about as hard as number five. And again, a little simple play to the right off tackle. <laughs> you look up, it's second down at five. So uh, everything starts up front, and, and again, I know we've said it over and over, but Harris County's offensive line has done a great job again. The exact same play, only more yardage, as Harris County's going to get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And, Jack, if you're watching this game from, me, from the stands, you're wondering, well, okay, it's the same play, but uh, if it's not broke, we're not going to fix it. And uh, the Cavaliers have had no answer up front uh, so far through two and a half quarters uh, for Harris County. And here they come again, ball inside the 20. So they're in the red zone. Go back to make some signals to his receivers. And third time, same play. And he's going to get down to the 15-yard line. So a gain of three, second down and seven. Good tackle that time by uh, number nine, Jalen Allen, and number 50, Stephen Curtis, as the Cavaliers try to get some fresh bodies in there. But, uh, uh, again, Harris County, uh, they pick up on first down. They pick up about four yards when it looks like they're stopped. Back down the line of scrimmage. Trips to the far side. Takes the snap. Quarterback's going to roll to the left. He's going to be brought down short of the 15, so he's going to lose a yard. And that'll bring up third. 
one of the one of the only bad reads I've seen him make tonight. That play was was stopped uh, uh, from the get go there as the Cavaliers stepped in there. Number twenty uh, for the Cavaliers, Lorenzo Patterson, as we've got a Cavalier down on the ground. Yeah. You go out there and check on him. And Greg, the, the guys look tired as uh, they're having to roll things out so quick. Greg may not have his ears on. You know, looking from up here, Jack, they don't seem to be. The, the guys seem to be up. They seem they to be. You know, they're, 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 they haven't got their hands on their hips. They're not gasping for air. But, uh, uh, you know, again, uh, that looks like I'm not sure. We won't speculate who that is until we get a number. But Give him a little spark. Hopefully, hopefully, it, hopefully it's just a little cramp and uh, he's able to work that out. Here we go. I think it's Terry Godwin down there. No, actually, uh, yes, Terry was on the sidelines earlier. My batteries went out. I was replacing the battery. So, uh, and Terry was stretching himself out, uh, getting a little uh, hamstring, uh, a little cramp in his hammy, and uh, also uh, Leverett is stretching himself out. Cul- uh, Culpepper is stretching himself out. Yeah, I think uh, Deon, number fourteen. Deion Smith, yeah, Deion Smith, number yes. fourteen. Yeah, yeah, he was the one that originally the timeout was called on. He's uh, favoring that left leg a little bit. And he's frustrated because he wants to be back in that ball game. Right back to the stretch. So here comes Harris County back on the field. We're looking at a third down now, about seven. There's the snap. And they're going to give the hot read. Wow. The tailback who goes to the left cuts back inside. He'll be short of the first down though. He's got to get over the ten, and he didn't make it to the ten. Hey, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm like Tony, uh, guys. If y'all are listening, and I've had uh, Keyshawn's daddy ask me earlier, uh, how do we watch it? I said, go to Eagle1023.com, click on the Callaway Football, watch it live. You guys will be impressed with his running back. He he is a he is definitely a uh, uh, he's one of the quality backs we'll see all year. Big fourth down now. As you hear all the the banks and the noise going on by the Callaway fans. Because they're on their feet. And they go around the left side. They're going to hit the tailback, but it's going to be the quarterback with the ball. He's going to get the first down inside the 10. He, inside the 5. He'll be dead on the 5-yard line. They were able to run that little sweep to the left. And uh, a good job that time by the left tackle and the, the, the tight end able, able to seal that corner uh, on that left side. And the uh, quarterback simply ran a little sweep over there and was able to pick up the first down. 2.25 left to go in the third quarter of play. 12-7, Cali trailing. And it's going to be the tailback number five again. Gets the ball down inside the five to about the three. And number 52, Justice Perkins in there for the Cavaliers that time. Number 27, uh, Rashawn Loveless also in there. So, um, you know, a good job that time by the Cavaliers as they stepped in there and held it to a short game. But, uh, unfortunately, they're inside the five, so they really need to keep them out of that end zone. For a fumble being a nice thing right here. Correct. Just going to run to his right. Cuts inside. He's going to go in for the score for Harris County. They'll pick up another touchdown right there. Just wove his way, just a little fake to the tailback, and a couple of the backers bid on number five, and he pulled the ball and just simply wiggled his way right down the center of the field and dove in the end zone. And he does a good job of that read option. He just he takes the ball, and he just finds a little crack and is able to slip through there. But, again, there would be no crack there if it wasn't for that offensive line. They're doing a great job up front, and uh, uh, so far they're the MVPs in this game. Snap. Old kick is up. And that kick is good. So the minute 53 left to go to the third quarter of play. 23-12 is your score with Harris County leading this one right now. You're listening to Callaway Cowboy Football right here on 96.9 and 12.40 and on the World Wide Web at Eagle1023.com. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. All right, so it's going to be Harris County kicking the ball off to Callaway. High kick. Taken down at the five-yard line. We bring it up from there to the 15. They're going to run us down from behind, and we get down to about the 13. Excuse me, that's the 16-yard line. 
good coverage again by Harris County as a uh, uh, just like you draw it up in the uh, in the workroom in the, in the uh, conference room. The kicker kicks the ball deep to the goal line. Uh, players staying in their lane, very disciplined team, and uh, Cavaliers again with a long way to go. But Jack, 148. Only down by 12. By the Touch, time. Touchdown by the here. Gets us right back in this thing. By the time in this ball game, 12-24 is the score. Tell you what, those extra points do loom a little large right now. High formation for the Cavaliers. Parks under center. they run the option. Hands the ball off quickly to the tailback. And, shoot, that's the Rosser to the 25-yard line. Good job that time up front by the Cavaliers. They opened up a little hole there for Devon Rosser. As he's able to uh, to hit it up in there for about nine yards. We've got a Cavalier lineman down. He's up now. I believe that's number uh, number 57 there for the Cavaliers. That's going to be left guard Devin Powell stretching those legs. Looks like got some hammies tightening up, some crap going on. And, and he's the one that opened up that hole, too, for uh, Rosser. But, yeah, you're right. Now, when you know your linemen are starting to hurt, uh, not your skill player, if you will, um, and it's really not that hot down here. I just think that the adrenaline level is high for these guys. Sure. They're going to head off to the tailback who's going to get just swarmed. And I tell you what, Harris kind of came and brought the house that time. Again, good penetration by the defensive line. That time, number 52 and number 25 for the Tigers uh, did a great job of, uh, of stopping that play. They've got another Cavalier down on the ground at about the 25-yard line. <clears throat> Trainers will run down there and check on them. When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property or acreage, you need to call Rob Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Upchurch on the web at robupchurchsales.com. Or when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property or acreage, you need to call Joel Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Upchurch on the web at joelupchurch.com. Uh, everybody, uh, hopefully we can get those guys hydrated and get them back in the ball game because we need them down by 12. Third down now and about two. Right now we need a first down. That's what then wide to this near side. That's Woodyard. Parks will take it and just head straight up the middle. He's looking for a hole. Going to bounce around, trying to find a way to get to that first down marker. And he doesn't get it, guys. Uh, I think he's going to come up about a... Uh, just simply know about a yard short, guys. Excuse me, Greg. I'm sorry. Just simply know where to go again. Uh, the uh, Harris County defensive line won that battle again. It's going to force the Cavaliers to punt from deep in their own territory. So Chase Freeman will come on to punt the ball away. He'll stand about the 10 yard line. Kick it down inside the 19 seconds. They get this kickoff. Let's see. Cowboys set up, awaiting the snap. There's the snap. Kick is off. And they hit our kicker, but no no call. Well, Frame <laughs> got a good roll that time. So going go out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. Greg, I'm kind of like you. I, I think you could have sold it a little bit more. Well, Freeman, <laughs> Freeman did a good job. He actually came across his leg, but it was more of a feather brush than anything else. But, but, but you got to give... Brandon Brooks is your first step to achieving your dream of home ownership. Looking to take advantage of great mortgage rates? Contact Brandon Brooks at Statewide Mortgage by calling 706-302-7638 or visit him online at statewidemortgageGA.com. It's Statewide Mortgage and talk to Brandon Brooks at 706-302-7638 or on the web at www.statewidemortgageGA.com. NMLS 1002584. And this will be your premium right here. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say, I combined home and auto with State Farm. Saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto, and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Matt Orr in LaGrange today. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let cb and help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. cb and a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 12.40 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. Welcome 
back to Kelly. Kelly with football, and Kelly going to step up a little bit, a loss of two on the first play of the fourth quarter as Harris County has the ball. And we'll handle it off to the right side. And, again, we're having a hard time wrapping up, guys. You know, Jackie, we, we, we are having a hard time wrapping up, but I tell you, you got to give a lot of credit to 22 and 5. They really run the ball hard, and they're, they're just not going down on the first time they're, they're touched. They keep those legs moving, and uh, they're, they're doing a really good job. A little doctor reporting to the sidelines. You know, we've got uh, Dr. Terry showed me a little bit of electrolyte box. Uh, so uh, we, he said we got a cure for that uh, uh, cramping going on. Cavaliers jumped offside there to uh, give Harris County an easy five yards. It's not like they need those five yards. They're able to do that on their own. So uh, let's see what the officials, as he's headed to the Harris County sideline. And the sad thing, that was third and six as well. Now it's going to be about third and one. Third and one, yeah. Official rolling over here. Kill Mr. Sigmund. Yeah, it's going to be first down. We're going to get first down. Yeah. I guess his legs were a little bit longer than we thought. Must have been third and five. Mm. So first down for Harris County as they lead this ball game 24-21 with 11 minutes left to go in that contest. And again, time now is uh, not only are the Cavaliers facing Harris County, but time is becoming their, their enemy also. They need to get a three and out here soon. Waiting for the snap. Seemed like a lineman that was not set. It's going to be 22, the ball carrier, and he's off that right side. He actually runs into his own player, still up on his feet, gets back up and gets to the 45-yard line. Guys, he runs as hard as five. And here comes a late flag from the referee. Yeah, that was well after the play was over. Not sure well, what, it was actually a Tony over here toward the, the quarterback. Yeah. I don't know that we didn't have a, a block. Ah. Over against them. But after the play's gone by you 20 yards? Well, I don't think it was holding Jack. It was a block in the back. Is that what it was? Yeah, and so it's way over okay. here, and, and and really, what he's trying to say is there was no excuse, no reason for that to even happen because the play's already passed you. Yeah, so we'll okay. we'll take it. Whatever it takes to slow them down, because right now we need a few <laughs> breaks. Sure, it would be nice to see him put that ball on the ground, but the Cavalier defense has got to come up with a play here. They break the huddle. First down, and now again they're they're first down and got a ways to go, about thirteen. There's the snap, and it's going to be 22 of all carries. He's going to slip a little bit, and but still pick up about four, maybe five yards. He's short of the 35-yard line. And, and, and want you guys to know that he slipped as he was as the ball was handed to him, so he slipped a yard in the backfield and was able to to still corral out three yards, positive yards. And again, Greg, you can see it better than we can. That you got to give credit to that old line. <laughs> the Cavaliers are getting no penetration at all, and the running backs are not being touched till well past the line of scrimmage. All right, Harris County back at it. Hands the ball off to the tailback around the near side. And he's going to get hit pretty hard at the 35-yard line. So that, the good job of the guys collapsing in on that one. And that's a good penetration that time by number 10, linebacker Keyshawn Freeman, as the defensive lineman uh, uh, created some gaps for him to blitz there and was able to a uh, good run blitz there and was able to hold that play to a couple of yards. So he got a big third down at about, uh, looks like about seven here. Cavaliers need to get off the field. 22 will be the, the tailback in the backfield with the quarterback number one. You know, you're right, Tony. Psychologically, it sure is a lot easier to play offense uh, when you're behind like this than it is defense. There's a snap. And he's going to hand the ball off to 22. 22 just finds a way every time. Gets across the 40, across the 45, down to the 47-yard line. And, 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 guys, that didn't take but about a half a second to get that seven yards. That kid that kid's started cool, through the line. And, that, you know, again, the Cavaliers tonight have just had no answer for the Harris County running game. I would imagine when you look at the stats, Harris County is going to have well over 300 yards on the ground. Yeah. Uh, and may, they may be pushing 400 yards on the ground. But the, uh, tonight, uh, the Cavaliers, they just have not been able to slow them down. Well, and this running game churns up clock, and that's what's hurting us as well. 24-21, 8-49 left to go in this ball game, and we're trailing. we we'll need two scores to win this thing. Cavaliers show blitz. Get to the backfield. The quarterback going to keep it, and he gets past our blitz across the 50. Short of the first down, he's got to get to across the 45, and he's going to get down to about the 47-yard line. You know, Tony, talking about uh, chewing up ground game, I, I know they've passed it twice, uh, one in the first quarter <laughs> and one in the second for a touchdown, but but how many other times has Harris County thrown the, thrown the ball tonight? Well, when you're gashing the team 5, 6, 7, 12, 15, 20 yards at a time, no need to throw it. No, no, no you're right. Again, they go trips this side. 
And they're going to hand the ball off to 22. He's going to go to the left. Runs into his own post. In fact, they're the only ones seeming to stop him as he has to kind of say excuse me to two of his guys down the field as he gets to the 35. And right now, right now I think you're, you're seeing some exhaustion maybe by the Cavaliers yeah. defense. A lot of arm tackling. They've been on the field a long time uh, with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And uh, some, some fatigue is starting to set in. I think the tallest guy on the field right now is number 53, the right tackle, which I haven't seen him play a whole lot this game. He's fresh. He's downfield blocking. And it's going to be the there. quarterback who just, again, kind of Johnny Manziel style, finds a way to try to get it loose. But now he's finally going to be brought back for a loss down at the 46-yard line. Only difference in him and Manziel. Manziel would have threw a touchdown pass right there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he gets paid for autographs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. There's no oh, proof. That's There's right. No proof. Back. There's no proof. Yeah. Now just sit out a half. There's no paper trail. <laughs> you know, and I'm going to comment, one of the uh, – not about Manziel – but uh, heard on the radio coming over on CBS Sports, uh, as carried by Eagle, Eagle Sports, that um, one of the San Francisco 49ers got caught. Uh, Alden uh, Smith. Yeah. 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 Uh, DUI and marijuana possession. He's going to play this weekend probably. I don't, Tony, you and I would be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys are going to jump off sides. They were uh, listening more to us and their helmet uh, radios, I guess, than they were paying attention to the play. A little frustration on the Cavalier side. They're still giving great effort, just trying to get in there and do anything they can to, to, to penetrate it. And, and, again, give the coaching staff of Harris County a lot of credit. They're milking this clock. They're going on a longer count, and they're changing some things up, and they're running. Uh, they're running. They're not calling a play till maybe 15 seconds, and the, uh, they're actually snapping the ball maybe with five, six seconds to go on the play clock. Everybody's going to take it. Hand the ball off to his tailback. He's going to find uh, lots of runners. Still on his feet. He wow. just broke four tackles. It looks like he's going to go all the way down inside the 10, five, and go out of bounds inside the five. Guys, he broke at least four tackles back at the 40. He was hit at the knees. He was hit up, spun off, and then made another huge run down towards the end zone. You know, and, and, and again, it, you talk about poor tackling, and yeah, it probably was. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to choose to err on the side of tremendous effort and tremendous running by number 22. I mean, they – they are, uh, granted, the Cavaliers are not tackling well now because they're tired. They've been on the field a long time, and we talked about arm tackling going on. They're not putting a hat on anybody. But uh, uh, Harris County is a lot fresher right now, and it shows the way they've been able to move the ball. Here they come. Charlie's going to pinch down into a goal line stance. They're being able to get to the, to the corners, and that's what they're going to do. Is it's going to be 22, the ball here, maybe short of the – End zone. Let's see what it looks like. The official's going to mark him down just short. Uh, about the two inch line. Got another Cavalier down on about the five yard line there, slow to get up. Now he's on his feet. That's number 20 there for the Cavaliers. Defensive tackle Lorenzo Patterson, but he is on his feet. He's going to come off the field on his own power right now. But uh, Cavaliers, uh, uh, unfortunately, about to go, go, uh, go down another touchdown, it looks like, Jack. It looks like it. The whistle of the play in, 619 left to go. On the left side. Wow. Big hit by the Cavaliers. Woo-hoo. A big wow. hit right there. What a big hit right there on that tail. Now, that's how you tackle. I guess if we'd been tackling like that the whole ball game, uh, we wouldn't be behind 24-12. But that's, uh, uh, that's number 16 out there, Dre Martin again. What a big hit from him from his defensive end. That's huge. That'll get you fired up if you're a defense player. So they're looking at third down and goal. Like around the no right way, side. no way. Good job, yard. By, by, good job by the Cavaliers. They must have heard me up here saying they were going down. Good goal line stand so far by the Cavaliers, and they got to have it with 540 to go down by score of 24 to 12. All right, this is huge, guys. Because he left down, guys. 535, they got a great kicker. But as we've seen, they've been able to pick up the yards when they want them. Yeah, but they're going for the knockout punch right here. They're, fixing, they're trying to stick the... Uh, Trying to stick the dagger in right here, and it's exactly what they should do. They're trying to put this game out of reach for the Cavaliers. Harris County with three timeouts left. Callaway with two. Do they milk it down, call a timeout, and decide what to do? Clock's still running. Looks like looks like that's exactly what it, a, a good good good. Got to give the coaching staff. Team. 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 Jim on Facebook. 
Closer to what's important to you. Closer to home with three branches in LaGrange. Closer to your money with mobile and internet banking and six local ATMs. Plus, you can use any Synovus or Publix Presto ATM in the southeast. Closer to people who care about you. Local people who make local decisions. We're CBT. How can we serve you today? CBNT is a division of Synovus Bank member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Some restrictions apply to the banking. Are you sure 12 is your score? Harris County leading. Right now they have the ball resting on the one and a half yard line. And they got fourth down and they're going for the kill strike here. So back takes it. Or roll to his right, roll to his left and just walk into the end zone. And they'll put six more on it and they'll be 30-12 waiting on the PAT. Cavaliers had an opportunity to make a play in the backfield that time. Unfortunately, the uh, quarterback just ran through an arm tackle by number 55, Brandon Sutton. And, uh, you know, he t- puts him up 30 to 12 with 5.07 to go. But uh, Cavaliers made him earn it inside there. But, uh, unfortunately, just a little bit too strong on that old line Snap is about to come. Hold. Kick is up. And that kick is good. 31-12. As Harris County has held the ball all the way just about in this fourth quarter. 5.07 left to go. Let's take 30 seconds back to the station. We come back. We've got to do some, a lot of years. And through all the years, especially on Congress, it has a drop in It has always had the time to talk to you. Be free to get your family at home. If you're talking stores, personal service. Grange.com help support your local economy. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 969 FM, 1240 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football. So we find ourselves in a familiar position as the Cowley Cowboys are back on the field to receive a kick by Harris County. And we're going to take it up from the 10, 15 to the 20. We're going to fall down at the 21-yard line, and we've got a lot of room to go. It's, it's five minutes left. 31-12 is your score, Harris County leading. Call it call it just me, but now Godwin's down on the ground. Plus, we've got another injury where he slips, but... That's about the fifth or sixth slip, and not just from uh, from Callaway players, but also from Harris County players. You're exactly right, Greg. We're going to take a time out to take a look at him. Let's go ahead and take 30 seconds back to the station, and uh, as they check on him, make sure he's okay. Actually, let's make it a 60-second as we go back to the station here on 96.9-1240 on the World Wide Web, Nico1023.com. Flu season is upon us. And we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle Sports, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back on the first place from Scrimmage Parks. is going to air it out and just kind of overthrow his receiver, a little inside-out route going down the field. Well, and, uh, it's getting close to desperation time. Cavaliers need to take a shot down the field to see if they can hit a big one quickly being down. Right. One, two, three scores, I believe. So they got yep. they got to strike quick with 4.55 to go here. So uh, a good play call. Just a good job, good job in the secondary by the uh, Harris County. Didn't, didn't allow anybody to get behind them beat. So once again, Parks going to roll to his right. Looking, looking. Throws it. And it's going to overthrow his intended receiver. And... Uh, 
very unparks like in that throw. Had a man open over here on the side, number 22 for the Cavaliers, Michael Moss, who talked, who caught the touchdown pass earlier, but uh, uh, throw sailed a little bit on Tess, but brings up third down and 10. A little report out of Thompson. Uh, I know it was that getting the start of the game, but he is out. Three interceptions and a shoulder injury. Oh, no. And uh, and also, they're trailing Thompson by the same score, 31-12. to 12. Hmm. Boy, Zach's had a tough year. He gets back yeah. on the field, and uh, now he gets a shoulder injury, so I certainly hope he'll be okay. You know, not that I'm an orthopedic surgeon, but I was kind of surprised. Those early reports was that he wasn't going to come back this soon. Park's going to be back to throw the ball again. He's got to uh, run out of the pocket, uh, fake the throw, uh, keep the ball, and going to be hit and brought down. And they, they hit and wrap up. You got to give it to Harris County as they stop him short of the 30. Now, he will uh, he's gonna get across the 30 to the 32 for a first down. So it does pick up some positive yardage, but that's a little too much, too little too late. A little indecision that time. Didn't had, had tried to cut back up the field and uh, knew where he had to get to the sticks. And good pursuit by uh, Harris County that time. Kept him just short of the first down. So, uh, with 4.33 to go, fourth down and about uh, uh, four here for the Cavaliers. Now, Greg and Tony, y'all mentioned it several times. Um, Harris County has earned this win as, as it looks like they may get it here with 4.33 left to go. They have really stepped up even in the fourth quarter playing really hard. Well, they've really, they've really, done, a, really done a great job. And, uh, when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property or acreage, you need to call Rob Church. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Church on the web at robchurchsells.com. When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property or acreage, you need to call Joel Up Church. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Up Church on the web at joelupchurch.com. When you come in, come in. I think they're just a little bit uh, mixed up on some of the, the formations they've got to put on the field for themselves. Well, it, it, it hadn't been a good night all the way around uh, for the Cavaliers. And, uh, you know, if you're going to have a night like this, uh, obviously you'd rather have it in a non-region game. And hopefully the Cavaliers can can learn from this. And, again, with full 33, you never know what's going to happen. But hopefully the Cavaliers can learn from this and correct some mistakes and get ready for that region schedule next week, Jack. Fourth down now. Got to get across the 35 to the 32 for a first down. The 30 to the 32, excuse me. Parks will take it, pitch it across the 30 to the 35. So first down now. Rosser, Rosser was able to get up past that first down mark as they ran, did a good job running the option to the right side uh, and picked up a, a, a big first down to keep this drive alive and keep their slim hopes alive for a comeback. Clock continues to run again. 12 to 31 is your score from 31 12. Harris County brought a lot of fans here. They're enjoying this ball game right now. It's a good crowd over there for yeah. Harris County, yeah. That's a snap, Parks. Fakes it. Backs up the pass. Looking, looking. Good coverage downfield. And now they're going to put a hand on him. Parks still on his feet. Dodges one, dodges another. Tries to get down there. And they're going to put about three guys on him and bring him out of bounds. A lot of frustration on the sideline with the Cavaliers as they, uh, they put Parks down hard. And there's a flag. There's another flag. And these may be uh, against Coach. Well, that's uh, that's a little unnecessary. The play was out of bounds, and frustration setting in over here for the Cavaliers. And looks as though looks as though they're uh, and there goes another one. Well, another what day. happens, guys? And, and you're right. You got some bickering back and forth, and you got a couple of coaches that just didn't be quiet. So we're gonna wind up ejecting somebody, I believe. You got a couple of guys he's gonna throw out. There's another one. Well, I, I think that uh, we also got an official that's getting a little bit. Uh, well, they're getting a little, yeah, they're losing a little control here, a little flag happy here, so. Frustration on the sideline here tonight, so. Uh, uh, but if you've ever been in, in a competitive situation here, uh, you know, sometimes your emotions can get the best of you. And uh, uh, as, as an official, you have to remain calm. Uh, it, it's hard to do sometimes. I know I'm a fine one to say that, but I've been there. <laughs> But uh, as an official, you have to uh, remain calm and not let your emotions get to you, and, and, and same way with players. Right. Well, getting back to the play, I was watching Tez going down the sidelines, and I kind of wish he'd have darted out of bounds, knowing that, that he had a wall of Harris County Tigers. He elected to go take a step inside, and by doing that, it allowed the backside pursuit of Harris County to come in. And, well, and, and, and a good tackle, it just got 
got some of the coaches irate, and, and I didn't see anything wrong with the tackle. It's just that the kids all got up, and they were inside the Cal- Callaway sideline, and you're going to have a lot of emotions. Well, what, 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 you, what you hope now is there's no ejections which would carry over into next week's opening region game. So uh, hopefully it's, it's just penalties, but I'm not sure there's enough field to mark off all these penalties. I didn't know they, they had that many in their pockets. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, they carry extra ones, trust me. They, they, uh, this, this may be marked off back behind the time clock. I'm not sure where this one is. <laughs> you are, you ain't right. Boy. <laughs> the well, they just put the lights on at the Elm City plant. Just My, goodness, I, I won't name the coach, but he is at being escorted down in the in – the, in the dungeon, if you will, now. But, uh, yeah, they, it, it's, you got emotions flaring. And, you know, and hey, there's still plenty of time. Callaway's got one timeout left. Harris County's got two. Just a little under four minutes. Hey, we've seen stranger things happen. So all it takes is a, a you know, a quick hit and then a turnover, another quick hit, and, and you're all of a sudden with a, with a minute and a half play, you, you got, you know, you're, you're well within reach. So it can happen. Well, and, and not that I want to defend, you know, getting the flag thrown on you, but a lot of times these guys like to hear their coaches defending them, that they're going to lift them up, that they're going to, you know, anything that looks like it might be a dirty play or a bad play, they're going to take their side and, and take care of their players. And now the long march begins. <laughs> 